with all the announcements and stuff before I call rain up. So I'm hopefully uh, we have already gone past the ads. I hope. Uh, but anyway, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, and it's uh, time to play some Monster Prom. Well, sort of. Ow! You're easy. But before we play Monster Prom, uh, for those of you who do not follow my socials. Uh, such as my Discord or Twitter, which you should, by the way. It's pretty cool over there. It's rad. I post fun things. Uh, I was a bit of a dingus, and I totally forgot that I can't stream tomorrow because I have Doctor. So, uh, if you saw the stream for Wednesday, uh, could disregard it. It does not exist anymore. We will have to continue Valheim next week. I am so sorry. Oh, you've been stinky. But without further ado, let me give Rain a call because I don't want to leave him hanging too much longer. We shall pop in for And then I'll steal his Discord react. <gasps> Welcome to the stream! And he's in! Okay, let me see. There's your. Aha! There it is. I found your. Ah! Okay. Time to throw and you in the guest spot. Show in stream! There we are! It's time to throw the guest spot. There you are! Eh. Yeah. Eh. Ah! Ah, it's Waluigi! Ah, wow. It is Waluigi! <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, uh, for <laughs> those that are actually watching my point of perspective, uh, Dakara's uh, doing the uh, Discord reacting thing where basically a PNG picture uh, like, does something different whenever someone speaks. So I have to and for me, I have the Waluigi. Um, so, the, so I hope I did it correct because I tried it last time. I'm hoping that the background actually uh, is disappeared with the PNG. It does not out. People are attacking me. Maurice is attacking you with so... love. Yeah, no, it's not transparent. Damn it! Because <laughs> that's what because that's what I was hoping for the uh, last time. Oh, thank unfortunately. you, Maurice. I love you very much. I appreciate you for that my face. Hold on. I guess I guess it's basically um, Maurice doing the thing that I. Uh, he likes to smack me in the face. <laughs> Let me just make sure okay. I need to shout you out so anybody who is here can also go and check out his stuff. Yeah, so while you're doing that, I'm also going to be going it's to yours you. and also like uh, <laughs> shouting you out. Heck it's yeah. Also, it's um, funny uh, uh, how Teen Sammy has a PS4, even though voices? I downloaded his Superstar on, a, on the Xbox One. Uh, we can voice the characters if yeah. you like to. It's up to you, because I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with either one. Oh, he does. Okay. Uh, I am finally going to be launching the game, so give me a sec. Oh my god, Bree has, has uh, activated the stupid meter, and you are very stupid. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, how about, how about this chat? Chat, you decide. Do you want us to voice the characters, or do you want to hear their voices as, they're, as they come in? Ow! Thank you all for shy. Love you too. I'm Do I even like have the? Hold on, I got. I got to make sure that the Windows settings are actually correct. Uh, let's see. Yep, it is. Uh, yeah, I just have to. Yeah, there we go. You want to hear their voices? Okay, we have. Bree says she wants to hear their voices. Anybody else before before we get this progress started? I'm I'm drinking. I'm a bit quiet, or is Rain a bit quiet? Let me see. Oh, you're right. What the heck? <laughs> you What's are. What's going on here? Why am I quiet? What the heck? Is that my that is weird. What's going on here? This your... is weird. Yeah, for, for my stream, uh, yours is completely uh, fine, so your audio is able to be uh, heard. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's what it is. I don't know. Maybe what's going got, on? What's going on? Is this better? <laughs> Can y'all hear me a little bit better? I guess shout louder. I, I turned it up. I looked like for some reason my mic was turned down slightly. I think this should be fine. Alright, well, nobody else has spoken up, so I guess I'm, I'm keeping my voice in. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, so wait, so game so game voices uh, will be on, right? Yes. Okay. Alright. 
let's uh let's see <laughs> uh online let's see online. Been a while since awesome I've done. awesome voice effects okay are you creating the lobby room or my um i guess if you want to create go right ahead and i'll join you One. LOL. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Smiley. <laughs> Everybody's getting violent. Yeah, yeah. Right. Are they now? Uh, we're going the full game, dude. We're, we're the full Why game. would I want to do a short game if it's gonna be my first time? Ah, uh, spooky high school, the sweetest. Thing. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life. We were on a wild journey to discover who you really were. Who am I? You may ask. I'm. I'm, I'm this lady. I'm gonna be her. My name. Blue Vicky. <laughs> uh, no, I'm Nakara. What are you talking about? This is Nakara Line in here. Let's go. It's getting cut out. Rig, what's happening? Uh, I think I heard a bit of your mic uh, cut a bit, but hold on. I'm wondering. Overall, it's still good. Let me check my mic settings on my computer. But maybe it's still stuck to a different computer. Okay. While you're doing that, uh, do you know what? You know, people say I yeah, would be like the big tall Frankenstein, so I'm going with him. <laughs> Green Brian. <laughs> what the fuck are you That's saying? I... <laughs> I'm Rain. <laughs> of course I'm a he. <laughs> and we had yet yeah, to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we're all scrambling to catch the attention of our, of our six most charismatic class. Miranda, Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who was cute as she was generous. <laughs> Damien LeVay, 21. A fearless Jesus demon. Christ. I thought, this is, I thought this is high school. Why are we so old? A fearless demon that... with a taste for destruction and a love of fun. I was about to say that. Why are some of these characters 21 in high school? Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's like a, a prom night for college. I don't know. Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain large heart. Leah, the, the lion, or XX, a hipster vampire who stand off the scene or hit that he was truly a lovable man. Okay, Jeez. that age is kind of appropriate. Polly Geist, 22. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And Vera Oberlin, 23. A mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. No it's one clear. likes you when you're 23. It had to be one of them. <laughs> but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting. We only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, <laughs> we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. What, <laughs> a, what a way <laughs> to start. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they're rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. <laughs> Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your self. Let's start! I like the fact that Teen Wolf is basically a movie, then a TV show, and now it became a like, book. Ow! Thank you, Maurice. Also, is, is my voice good for everybody else, or is, is it cutting out in the stream? What is your soul? Emoji that speaks to your soul. Caucasian guy with a turban makes his fucking soul. Octopus emoji, best animal on Earth. I know five mixed drinks, three drug cocktails, and seven sex that involve one or several octopus. <laughs> so, because that motherfucker is in the middle of a blizzard and he's fucking smiling. 
gives a fuck about Blue Jesus. He has a pink ass hat. <laughs> <laughs> While you do that, I'm gonna check my I right, let's see. In my soul emoji. Um <laughs> Hey Sam, welcome to the stream. <laughs> um let's see. Do yeah, I go with the ca ca the uh, Caucasian go, guy? Fuck stereotypes, <laughs> fuck stereotypes! Fuck stereotypes! Let's see, uh, I prefer to take care of my enemies the old fashioned way. Um, some people say that the Frankenstein boy would be like that, so I would go with it. I think I found the problem. What's up? I think for some reason in sounds, my microphone got turned down. Ah. It should have been at 80, but it was at 53. <laughs> How do I sound? Do I sound okay, guys? Everything good, Gucci? Before I, I hope so. Does that sound better, Elvishai? All right, anyway. What criteria would you use to name your children? Something simple and friendly, like Bobby or Mary. A non-heteronormative name to give them the freedom to define themselves on their own terms. I will research for a name that is a pun-proof and joke-proof. No one will pick on them. Ugh, no name. It's just too much work. Just a swear word. My name plus the second. It sounds good? Good, okay, good. Um, oh man, there's no options. Yes, it does. Literally just checking how I sound on Rainstream. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> there's no option for fuck kids, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no name. They're just child now. <laughs> they're just they're just a swear word. They're just child. I totally didn't realize who I was getting better uh, romance points with. I just didn't. I, I didn't even, I didn't even, I mean, you can't even tell. No, I saw their heads pop up at the end. Okay, so I'm seven. I know, points. it's like I got, I got basically the, the devil guy or something like that. I got, I got smarts, boldness, and charm seven, creativity five, and money five, and fun two. Oh, uh, so this is a one at a time type thing. Okay. Yeah, it says like, why can't I, do, do I not have a mouse? What's going on? Oh, there you go. What's happening here? All right, um, where, you know, I'm gonna try and romance the devil guy. Where would he be? Probably. I s he likes fire. I'm gonna go for the gym. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. Oh, hell, charm is fuck oh, nice. Nice. And here comes Liam, ranting to anyone who will listen about the failings of living flesh. Lame. Okay, you know what? I, get, I thought I had voices on, but it's not working. Okay, you do it, voices. It, it, said, it, did it, it did it for me. It said He said lame. He did say lame. I thought they actually, like, voiced the dialogue. All right. You voiced the guys then. Okay, so. All right. <laughs> I have such pity for creatures that have to consume things other than blood. Grocery shopping, cooking, chewing... It's a nightmare. No wonder there are so many fad diets. People don't want to have to choose what they eat. Like, have you heard of the, I can't even pronounce Matryoshka. that. Matryoshka. Matryoshka diet. You eat a tape, ew, what the fuck? Read <laughs> you it. eat a tape war, <laughs> and then you eat a bigger tape war to swallow that tape war. And so on until all of your organs are replaced by tape worms. Uh, I don't think that's how it works, but okay. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> it's usually fatal, but the corpse do look fabulous. It's Polly! Oh 
man, that brings back memories. The matryoshka diet is how I died. I miss fad diet. I used to get up to the stupidest shenanigans just to get my hands on the latest food replacement. Hey, bros. Whoa, are you guys talking about fad diets? Sign me up. I'll do anything that'll get me more ripped. Anything! Uh, let me see. Have you heard of the, the Emotep cleanse or the paleo diet? I'm going, I'm going to say the paleo diet. You've heard of the paleo diet. Now try the Jurassic diet. You can't eat anything that isn't a dinosaur. Killing a T-Rex alone will get you super buff. Awesome, bro. Whoa, awesome. I'll, I've always wanted to punch a T-Rex, and now I finally have my excuse. The dinosaurs died out years ago, Scott. Where are you going to find one? Easy. I'll squat throw us in so hard and it sends me back in time. <laughs> I love this. I appreciate Scott. I appreciate this himbo. I'm not sure there's a number of squat thrusts you can do that will alter the fabric of reality, Scott. <laughs> that shows how little you know about squat thrusts, Molly. There is no problems that are that can't be solved by squat thrusts. Later, Scott shows you how to do Maple. Squat thrust. The magic is real. Gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Damn. My <laughs> dude, my charm is off the chart, dude. I so I can't go in the same place that yeah, you, you are. Can't at. go to the gym. You have to um, go somewhere else. You know, you know what they also say about like um, what is it? Um, Frankenstein. He knows how to rock the uh, guitar, so I'm going to the auditorium. Play. It's as though the muses themselves descended to give you a figure. What <laughs> the fuck? Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school places. You gave us creativity. Oh, wow. Oddly enough, you notice Danny and Vera having some kind of business meeting? At least, they're both sitting holding Manila hold. You move closer to see the top. Hey there. Now, they both agree that Gillian and Amy doesn't have to be carbon. True, true. I believe that is the problem. Thank you, Gillian. I prepared an action for a Vera opens her folder to reveal intricate charts with titles like Divert. Derision coefficient and maximizing humiliation. You know, I almost thought that said, uh, uh, I thought it said division divisions. Almost. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, if you see the dividends and div uh, derisions, it does look like, uh, two Vs. It kind of does. But, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just like, it's just like, uh, second grade writing, how you, how your R's are kind of like that. <laughs> I brought a folder, too. Maybe. Damien opens his folder. There's a piece of paper that says punching. Hmm. I admire your uh but I think we need a plan that like Damien Don. On the other side it says punching harder. These two are never going to come to an agreement unless you step in. So you tell them your idea. Let's see. <laughs> Use this convenient list uh, I bought that shows all his greatest fears in order of uh, severity. Uh, while he's sleeping, replace all his or oh, organs wait, uh, with wait, live pops. Wait, before you, before you respond, can I, I guess, okay, I gotta pick up the call. Okay. Right <laughs> yeah, so. I'm still, like, thinking of uh, what this uh could definitely be uh for sure because there's so many like choices that i'm like i feel like i would actually be aligned with her but i just i don't know which one to choose that's the problem uh let's we'll see uh just look at it again let's we'll see use this uh convenient uh list or confident uh list i bought that shows all his greatest fears in order of severity. Uh, while he's sleeping, replace all of his organs with live process. Um, hmm. 
so I think I might know what I would go for. So Oh, I okay, so I can actually uh show what her like uh, what Nikara's uh stats are currently. That's actually kind of Um I'm gonna go with the possums more and more so I think Carl's back. All good? I, we're all set now. I had to just write some stuff down, but Okay, I'm gonna actually okay, so I am gonna go with the uh while he's sleeping, <laughs> uh replace all his organs with live fossils. <laughs> also thank you, I love you too, Reezy. <laughs> I may have misheard you, but I'm pretty sure that plan doesn't involve any punching. Yeah, possums don't grow on fucking trees. You're a failure. And even if they do, do we really want to do a super <laughs> I guess not. You know what? <laughs> so, so, we could switch all of the Gwilliam's organs with all <laughs> this idiot's organs. You turn and flee to save your precious organs. You lose two creativity and one more. Damn, Damn you it! You lost all the creativity you earned. Damn! Damn. <laughs> Time to trade places. All right, what are we? What are we thinking? Uh, challenge or random? Oh, this is your choice. Yeah, I. I. This is how we decide who goes first. Challenge or random? What to say? What chat? What do you think? Do we? Thank you, Arizi. Love you. Too. <laughs> do we want to? Do you want to see us do a challenge, or should we? And so I think if we do a challenge, we have to do something dumb. The music's a bit loud. All right. Let's see the music. Ah, should I don't think I can change. You uh, you could do it in the main menu, but I don't know if you could do it while in game. Yeah, I don't think I can change it right now. Uh, I can do this. I'll turn the music down. And I will turn rain up. So that way, that should hopefully work. <laughs> I can your chat hear me? I hope so. Speak Answer her! Challenge, maybe? Do the challenge. Okay, everybody says challenge. Here we go. Okay, so we choose an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before you click. Player orders decide based on how cool the next indie sensation, aka the selected object, uh, knight, would be. Where the hero's main weapon is the selected object. So we start debating. Alright, um, you know what? You know what? What if, what if the object was... We have to start debating it. Oh, did we not click anything? Oh, I choose who goes first. Okay. I'll let the, I'll let our chats decide who goes first. So we'll debate our, our objects to the chat. And whoever, whoever gets voted uh, most by both our chats... Okay. Okay. So, what kind of knight? What kind of knight? Um. Yeah, we're playing. Ah, we're playing Monster from Pyrus. <laughs> what if I got an idea? I got an idea. Oversized spaghetti noodle thing. Think about it. Think about it. Like that would hurt really bad if you get whacked with a thick ass noodle. Also, it's stringy and it can be used kind of like a whip. So you can hit enemies from <laughs> far. I think that I think that works pretty good and it tastes delicious. So if you get hungry on the road, you can just party yourself. 
So that's basically your um, yep. selected object for a knife. My selected object um, is oversized spaghetti noodle fork. Hmm. What kind of weapon does your knife have? Okay. This is actually going to be a funny one, but... <laughs> Remember the dildo baseball bat from uh, uh, Saints Row the Third? What the fuck is Saints Row? Because Saints Row the Third uh, had a uh, dildo baseball bat, and I would I would just imagine like like uh, the knights would like be swinging around with dildo. They would. It's like this, <laughs> like this super size looking dildo on a baseball bat. It's like people are just swinging it and hitting people with. And it caused like a lot of damage. If you're thinking that um, that the the noodles would actually oh. do a lot of damage, that depending is it basically cooked or uncooked noodles? It's well, like it's like it's like um, al dente, like just like cooked enough that you can whip it around, but like still kind of stiff. Also, still kind of stiff. Okay, I can believe that. <laughs> Sounds like sounds like the dildo I saw last August. <laughs> Dude, that thing was friggin' massive, man. It was bigger than my homeboy's forearm. <laughs> that shit could I, like you could beat a man with that and he would go unconscious. You're lucky enough that you did not even see the Moby Huge. The Moby Huge? What? You don't know what that is? Search Should it up I? on your phone right now. I don't know if I, I... I'm scared to search up. Okay, well, I'm searching up whatever this is. Guys, whose who's weapon is better? Oversized spaghetti noodle or dildo baseball bat? Who's better? Is, is it a dildo? Is that what I'm looking up? Moby Huge dildo? Yes. I'm scared. I feel like I'm going to see something I should <laughs> Elvishai says the... There's the ah. realization! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a real woman? It is. <laughs> I, it, it, I, don't, I don't know about the, I don't know about the issue with the woman, but, the, but, the, but that is shit. a real dildo. Okay, everybody voted on my chat. They all voted for the dildo bat. Oh my god. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Holy fuck. Okay, I think I think it's clear who the winner is. <laughs> Rain is now the winner, and I'm second. Oh my god! <laughs> Mine was oversized. I'm surprised, ne surprised he never even. Uh, but still, no bad death. Sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Um. Oh, all right. So my let's see. Uh, it's me. I, oh, I'm wait. Going. Okay, I'm just... Yeah, um... How do you... How do you... Okay. No joke. No joke. He becomes the president of the United States in the Saints Row 4 as we face off against an alien invasion using a dubstep gun. And then in the following DLC, you have to go to hell itself out as one of your teammates to save yourself from marrying the devil's daughter. <laughs> Fascinating. All right. Yeah. It, it's kind of like a separate game for the uh, Get Out of Hell. Um, do it. The let's see, the Medusa, Snakehead, and this guy—they're they're like the goth kids that you would kind of see like sitting around. So I'm going with them. You approach Lee and the Fear at the table, but before you can sit down, they're all holding their hands. Pathetic. We're only. I would agree with that, Vera. You just said. But agreeing is something only uncool people do. Wouldn't you agree, Vera? <sighs> I try, but I still get in trouble. This interloper still wants to sit with us. Well, if he wants to sit with us, he is going to have to prove he is cool as we are. <laughs> but without the life trying to prove it trying is so uncool so what's you gonna do let's see well I guess I'm going 
then because there's no way anyone could ever be as cool as Liam. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, let me ask you this: Would uncool people be giving Vera a fifty monster dollars right now? Um, you have fifty monster dollars to give her. You have five dollars. That's a bribe. Yeah, that's a bribe. Ow! Thank you, Lathan. That, is, I love you. that is such a bribe. Yeah, but you can't. You don't I, have the money. I, I can't even afford to do that. So, wait, was that ah. sarcasm? There it is again. You two doing this on purpose? <sighs> Gah. I can't tell whether you're being sincere or ironic. It's so, so cool. cool. Everyone knows clear and efficient uh, communication is the least cool thing of all. You've wooed me with your open disdain for language. Get exactly. Vera and Liam fight to the with them in chat. By the end of lunch, none of you has any idea what anyone else is so Let's go. My turn! Let's so that, go, boys! Right, at least I did something good. I can't I want to start the open table between them, you bitch! You sit down to enjoy a nice little meal with ice cream, cafeteria, as you do. <laughs> oh, JK, something fucked up is always going on here. Today is so different. Hey, bro. Oh, Wait. hello there, Carlinen. Did you want to sit in <laughs> Don't need to. Do you want to like... come sit with us in, in our... Wait, how long have you been? Um... Three years? No, 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 no. Late, later on this year, it'll be three years. And you still can't pronounce my name? Nikara Lennon? Yo! Lennon? Yeah! <laughs> First of all, I never keep up. I never really hear you with your, like, uh, the, the last name, basically. But I tell everybody. So you can't blame me with that. <laughs> Just call me Nikara. I should have said Nikara. Can't, what do you yeah. mean I can't talk about trash about pronunciation? Hell, the shy. <laughs> Did you also, want to you didn't give my... our... You didn't give Mylon crap. He said Elvishay too. Imaginary friend. No one else is here. There. Their imaginary friend roars and the whole cafeteria shakes. Out, let me do it. Okay, Nikara. You have some smarts. You're probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Why do we have a wild beast under our table? Why don't you take a guess? Oh, He's asking you to guess uh, because we totally forgot our plan. Scott? No, we didn't. Shut up! We're going to teach it to the piano. Or maybe the saxophone. I lost my notes. No worries. No notes needed. You know exactly what I'm I'm, I'm trying, Bree. I'm trying to get the demon. Okay. The wild beast should be the new team school master. Ooh, wait, but monster chef chance. And money. No, we should do that. We should. Okay, it's the obvious. You, it's obvious you brought us to the kitchen to turn into the next Monster Chef champion, so you can split the big Monster Chef cash. What a kick-ass idea! I made a whole tweet about how to pronounce it. My one calls it three deaf got told, but I didn't hear you call him out last during the stream. He called you Elvishe in the stream. I'm working on it, you guys. I'm trying to date the demon. Which was obviously ours. You're right. That was our idea. Hooray! We're geniuses. And I have just what we need here. Training montage music. Suddenly, you start a training montage with the three of you try to teach cooking to a wild beast. You suck at it since you're not big chefs yourself. And also because it's a wild beast and it keeps on devouring people you didn't have. But it is quite an epic training montage. Afterwards, you're all sitting excited in front of a portable TV. 
The Monster Chef show is about to start. You're holding cute, supportive signs, and you even got yourself a custom-made t-shirt of the wild. Whoa! This is the big day! Also, how is it that we trained the wild beast and it's now on the show? If it's still noon, and the cafeteria time hasn't even ended. Shush, Scott. Time works in mysterious ways when it comes to training montages. Okay, boys. <laughs> I like the fact that he said boys, even though you're the only girl on the tape. I don't, you don't call everyone boys? <laughs> I, I can basically say, alright, alright, everyone, in, in a way. <laughs> They are okay, boys. <laughs> okay, boys. I only hope it isn't a sh uh, Wait, what? To play? To play? Okay. Yeah, to play. <laughs> you know, to be honest, I, I never really that. hear that word that much. I only hope it isn't a souffle challenge. We know the wild beast isn't good at souffles. Wild beast isn't good at anything aside from sour cream. You quietly watch the show. Challenge is beef Wellington. Fuck yeah! No so so flay. Not so surprising. Once the challenge begins, the wild beast just starts to devour the other contestants as it destroys the show's set. You see the judges screaming, "Who the fuck let a wild beast enter the competition?" The wild beast is disqualified. Well, I guess that's it. Oh my God, we might not have won the cash prize, but we won the most valuable prizes. The prize of laughing at our wild beast fucking up everything at the Monster Chef set. Which is a memory we will cherish forever. Is Damien ready to cherish memories that include Wow, we! Fuck yeah! Alright, challenge time! We're gonna do it again. Yeah, you can smooch people in my chat, Elvishay. Shy. Blah, 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 blah. I keep saying, I keep wanting to say Shay, it just sounds funny. Shay! Alright, All right, we have to choose an occupation. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players. Player orders decide based on how boring a VR simulator based on the selected occupation. Start debating. Alright. Um, uh, hmm. I know, I'm trying! It's hard! I'm doing my best! I keep saying it over and over again. I'll be shy, I'll be shy, I'll be shy, I'll be shy. <laughs> Have your, I already have mine. A boring. Okay, so a boring occupation. Um. Um. Hmm. Oh, Reezy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Bree. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, How about a. How about this? Let's see. A VR simulator of a VR streamer. <laughs> like, like you. Play as the VR streamer? I don't know, that sounds kind of cool. It, it, it will be like kind of complicated if you think about it. It's like, you're so literally you're in VR and you're about to play a game where you're basically creating this one human to play a uh, VR and streaming. It's like, but the thing is, you have no control of what that player is actually going to be playing on stream. It could be like, is it going to be having less views, or is that person going to be banned on that streaming platform? <laughs> okay, okay. So we have a... Wait, can you summarize the title? Of, what's, the, what's the name of the job? VR Streamer... <laughs> the Simulator. Okay, so we have VR, VR Streamer simulator. <laughs> simulator. My occupation would be professional paint watcher. You are the person who sits there and watches the paint dry to make sure it dries correctly. <laughs> All right. Chat decide which is the most boring occupation: VR streamer sim or paint dryer watcher sim. I guess I guess you could call mine like a manager type of position for it. VR <laughs> manager still. sim. Well, I mean, I mean, here's the thing: it's 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 more like uh, of the way that I'm like saying because they do have like some uh, other occupations where you could be the manager of like. Of like that type of thing, but mainly with the VR you know, streamer one, that's different. Uh, we have one vote for the paint watcher. Anybody else? Any 
And same in the uh, same in Rain's chat too. Put it in his chat. Rain, you gotta read out to me because I can't read. <laughs> if anybody votes, so we have one. We have one vote for Paint Watcher being the most boring occupant. And not and not having anyone like uh, <laughs> uh, chatting. It seems like so. Okay. Um. So yeah, for 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 people that are likely Paint watching uh, my stream, um, which one would you rather choose? The uh, VR simulation of a uh, VR streamer or the VR simulation of uh, watching paint dry? First, first, this, and then I come here to watch Nika stream. The wa a Wario brother. Yes. The Blanu. Luigi. All right, we have two for the paint watcher. It seems. I think it seems like I've won this round. Yeah, they, no one's real. It seems like no one's real. Maybe next I, don't, I, don't next the, I don't know if the viewer thing mm -hmm. is actually working correctly ah. for me, so there's that. Yay! Right. Cat person. I forget what cat person is. Cat person is an auditor. I don't know what this is. Um. Wow. Walnicara. <laughs> Wouldn't it be? No, it should be Walnicara. That's my. That's my. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Let's go on doors. Wow. Let's go to a party. Okay. That day during. Start a half hour raid that goes full crazy. Ow, <laughs> thank you, let me do. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension? The consequences might distort the fabric of reality. Ow. <laughs> thank you, Pyrus. <laughs> might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. As you go about your day, you can't help but notice Damien. Trying to engage this By the time you get over to them, they're both taking the suit off and are examining them. No, uh, Deathers, you have to do two O's. If you do too many O's, you get ruined. You have to do it. You have to spell it exactly. Huh. How am I getting these two to voice so many times now? <laughs> I'm looking for Damien. That's the point. <laughs> Something still isn't right. Hmm. Yeah. And I really don't want to half-ass your po Pokemans ca cosplay. <laughs> Pokemans! Pokemon! Fuck Pokemon! <laughs> no! Don't fuck the Pokemon! Cop says it to always use your full ads on everything. I'm with you, man. There you go, Nobody... <laughs> Nobody gives more of a shit about the classic pocket humans video game than me. Oh, get it? Pocket humans. <laughs> Cause technically po uh, Pokemon is pocket monsters. <laughs> well, what the fuck are we missing, man? We've got the Zeus, the horn rimmed glasses, the sick the sickly pale body paint. Um, excuse me, he's a werewolf, thank you. And I look at him, I go. Monkey man! He's not a monkey, he's werewolf! Technically, he's Donkey Kong. No, he's a werewolf. He's got Howl, a woo! Werewolf I know, man. I know, I know. It's like if we're gonna be stinky. doing like the Monkey Man thing, that's basically what he is. Hey, I'm not stinky. Stream elements is the one who can do it. Ow, thank you. Everything we need to cosplay Doug and Wilbert. He's my favorite. <laughs> the Twin Titans of Real Estate! Hell yeah! Ow! Thank you, Nethers. Love you, too. <laughs> yes, he is a wolf. He's a fellow werewolf. I know. <laughs> don't, don't die. Do it. Doing his voice, it really, like, kills me sometimes. I know who they are, Scott. I played the damn game. Now, come on. Help Your me think of what angel. we're missing. You know right away that it's what they're talking about. You reach in your bag and pull out the one thing no human is caught dead without. Why does every demon free boy have a chain over his voice? I don't know. It's just what you do. You gotta have that really <laughs> rad sex thing with a gun! Fucking metal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking metal, dude! Yes, yes! This is exactly what my costume needed! You are all. Oh, you are little stinky. You are little stinky, deather stinky boy. Why do I have to be the stinky one? I said, no, no, I said Deathers is stinky. You're not stinky. So I think you did get a 92. <laughs> Come on, Scott. Put on your mask. 
and let's head over to the convention. Okay, Damien. What if you, do you want me to voice Damien? It sounds like you're going to kill your throat doing it. No, 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 no. Um, it's fine. Because I can He's definitely out, do I, like I have a, water with me. I can definitely I water do with a raspy me. voice for a while. No, no, don't worry. I have water with me anyway. Okay. Hey, hey, by the way, why is the convention happening over at the First National Bank? In the middle of the day? On a weekday? <laughs> Humans don't ask questions, Scott. Come on, let's go rob that. I mean, <laughs> make some friends. Oh, if anyone asks, that gun is cool. You gain plus two fun and fun. Um, what the sure. fuck? <laughs> don't worry about shh. Sh um. Go ahead. Go to the bathrooms. That day, you skipped class. Hang out in the bathroom. You respect. No. I guess some people just want to watch. A hat, but by skipping class and hanging out in the bathroom, you give plus zero shit, but you gain plus two both. All right, hold on. Wait before you continue. I have, I have to redeem the hat. All right. Um. What kind of hat are we looking for, man? We got a couple. I think we got a couple in here. We got blank glasses. We got the Canadian uh, my toque here. We got any other hats? Is there I, I got the Excalibur hat. Is there at all a monster hat? <laughs> oh, I, don't think so. I mean, there's horns. There's a <gasps> I could be like Deathers. Oh, there's my Mets baseball hat. Uh, my nightcap. What are you thinking? What are we thinking? Any of these hats? Uh. There's my tinfoil hat, my Viking hat. What are we, what are we looking at? Oh, I got a uh, Christmas horn, reindeer horn. Is horns a hat? I, you want Excalibur? Okay. I'll put on the Excalibur hat. I'm gonna flip it so it's uh, a little better. Okay. Perfect. All good? Stop picking my model. Did I get it? There we go. Oh, okay, God. perfect. I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking at my OBS. It looks like the Doug Dimadome hat. Doug Dimadome. The Doug Dim 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 <laughs> I'm from the United Kingdom. I'm looking for a heaven. I don't know much about Excalibur. I'm so sorry. I'm opposed. Right. Okay. You're bored and doodling in your notebook when Damien suddenly appears. <laughs> oh boy, more Damien boys. He has boys. a gun. He has a he gun. Has a he has the gun! <laughs> I'm so glad I'm drinking tonight for this. What the fuck is this doodle? Is that me? Mm -hmm. Am I cuddling shirtless with Liam? Uh, A sippy? Alright, I'll take another one. What? Thank you, Paris. Loser. Dude! If we're looking for a shark cut, I do have only more. I can add those. This is your lucky day. <sighs> Give me one reason not to cuddle your face with my pants. Damn. Oh no, they discovered your erotic fan art of them. You can't think of any way to calm the both of them. <laughs> Damn it, Brain, stop <laughs> drawing fucking porn. <laughs> ah, you gotta redeem it, Deathers. You gotta get the points for it. I tell him that'd be hot. Well, maybe the right answer to calm down one of them. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this fucker being dear. Damien <laughs> and Zar, I present. Yowie? <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. You don't want to fight me. You're currently fighting against your urge for cuddling. What are you, you going to tell him? What are you going to tell him? <laughs> Yowie! Calm down, Damien. You're such a bigot. Hmm. I heard about this, Yowie. It's a <laughs> It's a millenary form of art from the East. A delightful celebration of love and desire. And it's art. <laughs> what? So authentic. So I must admit, this piece is full of raw talent. Look at the sh <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we're killing rain with the owie today. Look at the strokes. <laughs> the expressions. 
the suggested placement of the hand. They convey so much with so little. <laughs> Dude, are you high? Look at this other one. You're fucking pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> this is insanity. <laughs> and you're dying. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. That's killing me. <laughs> oh. Oh, my lungs. Oh, I need my inhaler. Pregnant. <laughs> pregnant. It's not insanity. It's, oh. But neither is this one no, exact I'm not reality. It's impreg. Behold. Oh my head. I'm what a way of standing I'm up sorry. against your gender status, Kua. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Oh. They're charming. <laughs> the world one Crazy. pregnant doodle at a time. I'm oh. out. <laughs> oh, thank you. No! <laughs> there is no way to con you convince me this shit isn't weird or wrong or problematic. I'm out of this plotline. Ignore him, Rain. I have been searching for the pinnacle of art for generations. Little did I know it was <laughs> here <laughs> all along <laughs> in the ancient form of Yaoi. Will you accept me as your student? Oh my god. I, Who would date Waluigi? I, call you I don't know. It looks like Sensei? Liam really wants to date Waluigi right now. What I think the this fucking is a hell? Good thing. You gain plus two creativity. I'm trying not to basically, uh, like, I I want, I was thinking more of the uh, Medusa lady, but, but clearly, hell. Clearly, you're really seducing Liam with all of this. I, how oh, am I supposed to know he was about to go to the bathroom? Hey, yo, Rain! Something happened? What, what the fuck? Um, sure. On Saturday night, you're at a cool pizza place to eat pizza in a real pizza oven. Little did you expect that when the chef opened the oven for your pizza, Damien appears from the flames! God damn it! <laughs> how does that work? Did he teleport through fire? Has he been waiting inside the oven all this time just to make a kick ass entrance? Mystery! My dude! I fucking uh, hate needing people's help, life. but I need you. <laughs> but I might need yours. Don't let it get to your head, or I'll stab you so I don't have to owe you anything. Jesus Christ, man! Enough threats! Here's the deal, fuckhead. I might or might not feel attracted by your buddy, <gasps> Nikara. Oh my god! <laughs> the word <laughs> You know the one. <laughs> Always making absurd choices, being equal parts to be stupidly sexy and sexily stupid. <laughs> and with the nice booty. <laughs> That's the way with words. Oh. <laughs> But I don't want to get my feelings hurt by rushing into love without proper judgment. My dad's always say, "Oh shit, dad, gay, gay fathers." Yeah. <laughs> there you, there you go. <laughs> my dad's always say, That's "If you thing. love someone, shoot them, and see what happens." Uh, please no. I am great aware fatherly of advice, right? Thing is. Principal giant spider, my therapist, and the rule of law all seems to think that shooting someone to check if they're the one is not very legal. Yeah. They have strongly recommended that I do all that on what they call a theor theoretical, theoretical. Uh, uh, level. Like imagining the whole thing. But imagining is for losers. And since you both know <laughs> Nikara and. Uh, <laughs> wait, what the fuck? And are a loser yourself. What the fuck? You call you a loser? No. And since, since you. Oh, wait, yeah, I guess I guess we're both losers. That's fair. Yeah, and since. <laughs> you both know Nikara and. Are a loser yourself? No, 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 no. That's he's not... calling you a loser. He says you're a loser who knows Nakara. <laughs> That's what he's trying to say. Okay, I'd say now. 
I thought you could tell me what would Nakara do if I were to shoot her. I don't know, Rain. What do you think Let's would see. happen if I got shot? Let's see. Nakara is all about getting shot. <laughs> she goes to the doctor every day to get a shot. And shots are the only thing uh, she does when partying. So I think uh, you can give her a shot. <laughs> Believe it or not, if you, if you were to shoot Nakara, she would not be into you. Hashtag true story. <laughs> hmm. Do I want to help you or do I want to screw you? <laughs> I don't know. You have to choose. But just remember, if I get Medusa Lady, I could screw you too. What? <laughs> what? So she is just another vanilla dickwad whose thing's getting shot is not cool. Next thing I'll hear, uh, she also thinks getting stabbed is off limits. What is she thinking? That if we rob a bank together, the police will, I, I don't know, give us free cuddly hugs? Damn, I don't even need that money. I'm fucking Prince of Hell! I just robbed banks Thank for the thrill. Know. And because I get to sh get shot for free. And this is outrageous. I'm out. This time he doesn't go back. He just takes it. What is you did? <laughs> I will remember this. Anyway, you messed up Nakara's chance to escape. But at least you saved her from getting shot. But who cares? Your pizza is ready and you gave plus one. There we go. At least I get a charm for that. Did you do with him? Do you basically become the prince of hell? I think I do. All right, Rain, I'm going to remember that choice. Right. <laughs> Everybody choose the celebrity here. Or do you do celebrity? Oh, wait, I'm... I sh I'm supposed to do this part. I'm a dumb dumb. All right, oh. pretend I didn't read that. Don't read it. Don't read it. But I'll read it. All right, choose a celebrity. I'm, I'm putting my hand in front of the screen. Right um... I'm trying to, like, make sure Angelina I'm not really both of them. Wait, no. Uh... Uh, I need to think of a celebrity I know. I'm gonna go with Zach Aguilar, even though, like, he's probably, like, a fully celebrity to voice actors, but I'm going with that. You know, if I'm going with the Mario universe, I'm gonna go with Jack Black. Okay. Okay, so you have Zach, I- you have Jack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Player order based on how likely it is that the selected celebrity is a secretly a part of a cult. Oh, shit! I, I mean, mean, technically, um, with uh, Jack Black, him and Kyle Gass are Tenacious D, and the movie basically uh, is the pick of Destiny, and they actually, of course, got the pick of Destiny, which is basically the chipped tooth that came from the devil himself. Okay, so okay, they're holding the piece of the devil. I mean, if you want to talk about cults, I mean, fucking... Zach voices one of the dudes in Genshin Impact, and I think we all know Genshin Impact is a fucking cult. Story I'm in. Not uh, only like that, um, Jack Black and Kyle Gass unfortunately broke that pick, and and the devil came back and was complete. And then they had to do a rock off against the devil in order to survive. If they don't, then Kyle Gass will be back to hell. All right. Well, um, we got one vote for but, Jackal. But they won, and they broke the the horn of the devil, which they now use as a bog. All right. So cool. <laughs> All right, we have one vote for um, Jack. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Wait, Pyrus changed his mind. Zach is the voice of Violet in the house based on some of the Pokemon. That's true, that's true. He's also the voice of Pen, you know. Oh, I can, I can really, very. Jack, okay, we have, okay, it's a tie. We have one vote for Jack, one vote for Zach. Okay. Jack and Zach. Jack, Zach attack. <laughs> okay, we need, we need to get somebody to tie break. Come on, guys, one, two, yeah, tiebreaker here. And it can't be from Marizia and Pyrus. So they both voted already. It's Jack? Okay. I... Alright, looks like we looks like we have our winner unless anybody else has something to say about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count down from Ted. If I don't see it, if I don't see a response to the, the chat by then, uh then it's go to rain. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I figured his spot, you know. 
Um, sure. Okay. Um. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to get off my phone. There we go. Um. Let's see. I still don't know what with her like appearing in some places. Um. Uh, I... Skip class. Skip class. We are both skipping class, to be honest. Do we? Let's see what she's on. Show me that money. I straight. It's been a while. I miss you. It's okay. I don't mind. That. That's um. You're not reading the um. You're not reading the stuff that is that is it's like the welcome to my little shop thing. So in the black box, that's what I'm reading. I okay, you you have something different then. Oh, no, it's mine says, while so mine says, welcome to my little shop. Buy shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be much needed at uh, some specific moments. Uh, so take a look. Oh God! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, you want it? Buy it. I was not expecting that though. A PR agent? Well, well, I'm too poor for that. A bag of regular cocaine? Of course. Hey, look! Um... Sexy cheese. Sexy cheese. You vibe so much with Pat Girl. Understood. A Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters for people on the You know what? Thank you. I'll go with that. Alright, you have purchased a Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters for people on the yeah, would, would, would you want to say? Let's see. Yeah, would you want to just... save money for their college funds uh, when you can spend it on weird stuff that's most likely useless? That's a spirit champ. Why is my mic cutting so bad? I don't know. See my headphones. Okay, so that's basically the shop thing, and and it skips my turn. To uh, the other people. Let me lower my threshold. Try that a little bit. Maybe that'll uh, help me better. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> God, I'm still choking. Uh, you know, fuck it. I'll go to class today. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity of this high school. It works better? Okay, it wasn't correct. Good. You gain plus two smarts. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> pretty soon, you're fast We're both asleep. Joking. I mean, I have my inhaler. I could also take that. Uh, pretty soon, you're fast asleep, having a wonderful dream involving caterpillars and maple syrup. Suddenly, Polly and Damien are in your dream with you. Except, they're not naked like they usually are. Hi. Yo, wake up! We need your help, you goddamn <laughs> narcoleptic. You wake up just in time. Damien was about to give up and start hitting you with a desk. All right, here's the situation. Miss Boogeyman just passed it a pop quiz on the history of misunderstood abomination. This is bullshit. I don't even do regular quizzes. So obviously, we were going... <laughs> We were gonna ask to copy your test. But you've been asleep this whole time, which is honestly a pretty rad move. But it doesn't help us, so who should we copy instead? You're about to tell them that if you can sleep through this class and they can talk this much during a test, it's probably not a very serious class. I mean, I, I am a like monster, so that easy counts. Choice. <laughs> but this is clearly an opportunity to score some points with these two, so you give them some top-notch advice. Copy Liam, he's all into social justice. A teacher, copy her. Mm. Now, copy Liam. So smart. Sick! Another excuse to take advantage of Liam! Oi, Nerdbolt! Give us your answers before I make you eat a bicycle or whatever dumb shit it is 
that you like. Holy shit. Should I be a good cop, Eric? Is that causing your bad cop act? That's a good cop. You guys know the answers are all upside down at the bottom of the page, right? I mean, the answers are never spicy and hair is emotionally unstable wear rabbit. Thanks, Liam! You're the best! Is that... Was that good, cop? How do you even do that? Purple guy gives you big fear vibes from inside out. He kind of does, actually, now that you point that out. Polly spent the rest of class explaining being nice to Damien, while Liam rolls his eyes and dangerously hard. You gain plus two charm and plus one surprise. God, good lord, look at my charm! I'm the most charming little bitch out there. Hello! <laughs> I'm just so charming. Can't help that. Alright. This time I'm gonna okay. do it right. So, we have to choose a brand. Alright, um, I'm gonna go with Kraft Mac and Cheese. Okay, you're going with that. I'm going with, Kraft uh... Kraft Mac and Cheese. You can never go wrong. Ooh. Um... Kellogg's. You're going with Kellogg's? Okay. Yes. So I have Kraft... Uh, Rain has Kellogg. Alright, how intriguing would it be if the selected brand were to decide to start producing their own TV show? What is Kellogg's? Is Kellogg's Rice Krispies, right? Uh, I believe so. That's the one I, I think know. they're also like, uh, let's see. They're, they're also, um, let's see. Yeah, Kellogg's Rice, Rice Krispies, uh, they are mm, also Rice like the, um, we have one for Kraft. Aren't they? Aren't they also the, uh, I don't the Craves, know. the Craves cereal, um... They're like a cereal company, mistaken. I think, for the most part. That's what yeah, I Yeah, they, they are, they are. Alright, so we have one vote for Kraft Mac and Cheese. Who else? Who else? Which do you think is better, would be a better brand TV show? Kraft Mac and Cheese or Kellogg's? Kellogg's cereals. You're gonna have, like, a lot of the, uh... <laughs> Do you know what? I, I know it's kind of like in a cheat way, but I'm gonna like look at uh, Kellogg's uh, cereals to oh. see like all the uh, Orizi, cereals mac that and they cheesy. have. I'm taking that as a vote for the mac and cheese. So that's two votes for mac and cheese. Anybody else? Anybody else thinking? I uh, want to decide the vote while Rain looks at Kellogg's products. <laughs> oh my God! Everybody's stinking each other. They're trying to. Fro okay, Frosted Flakes, Pringles, Pop Tarts. <laughs> Frosted mini wheats and uh, cheese. It's that's what I'm seeing like on the first page. Like a lot here. of snacky stuff. I just know Dude, crap for the mac right. and cheese. Bree, what do you think? Mac and cheese yeah, is the food of the gods. Cheese, okay, so it's yeah. We have two for mac and cheese. I'm I'm gonna count down from ten. Same thing as last time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, as well. <laughs> four, three, two. One. All right, I will. Yeah, and and Applejack. Yes, uh, Bree. Lego my ego. <laughs> Lego my ego. Oh my fucking god, my childhood. Well, let's go. It's lunchtime. Let's go. Oh, Damien. I'm good. I don't care if Rain ruined my chances. I'm gonna keep trying to seduce you anyway. <laughs> Listen, Nikara. You can totally sit with us. I just hope you didn't bring a gun to a bazooka fight. <laughs> yeah, we're showing off our best flask. Well, not the best flask exactly, but the best content. Ooh! Oh my goodness, we have a raid! Hello, Mylon! How was your swim? I, I know I popped in for a hot minute, oh, but I... Oh my god! What, what? The, now I'm just hearing, like, the way that this conversation went... I, I, I was thinking of a different context with that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get what you mean in a different context. Bazooka and contents? What? What the fuck do you think? They're Bam. talking, they're talking about... That bitch. They're talking about flasks and contents. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Mylon is very... <laughs> All right. <clears throat> That's what he said. Also, I, I am... I am... I am a little... I don't think I've been stinky today, actually. We're, we're trying to find who to date. Rain tried to ruin my chances with Damien, but I'm gonna fucking bounce back. I'm gonna do it. Fuck no. Good God. Are literal actual flasks of alcohol openly allowed in the school cafeteria? Are there no rules? 
<laughs> Apparently not, because Polly starts setting a series of flasks down on the table. Okay, so this is beer, my WC wine, whiskey, ethyl alcohol, and the soul of an infant. Ha! Leak! This is radioactive abstinence! This is fire! And this is literally poor life choices! Okay, but this one has another smaller flask inside it. It is the ultimate flask. They could probably go on like this for goddamn ever! But maybe you can cut in with the craziest thing of all. You don't want to attend the school anymore? It's pretty fucking cool! But think carefully about whom you want to impress with your last content. Also, love you too, my love. Thank you. Okay, um... I'm going... I already know which one's the best for Damien, because as soon as they said the most hardcore badass thing, I knew it. Alright. <clears throat> Get ready for the most hardcore badass thing. This flask contains an ancient genie that grants you three wishes, but I'm totally drinking it because I don't give a fuck. I grant my own damn wishes. Yep. You're right. Hardcore. So hardcore. You could ask for anything. Wealth, power, immortality, a free pass for teachers to ignore bad <laughs> behavior forever and let you do whatever the fuck you want without suspension. But instead, you're just gonna drink the genie? It's like you're, you're <laughs> drunk from my power and life choice this class, and I love it. I didn't even know you could drink a genie. You and Damien pop open the flask and drink the genie together. It's definitely just water, but Damien seems to drink so much alcohol and energy drinks that he's literally forgotten what water tastes. <laughs> Normally you'd say that couldn't possibly be healthy, but fuck it. He's a demon from hell. He can probably do whatever, but a glorious bonding experience. Um, your turn! <laughs> Are you gonna go for uh, your Medusa lady over with the mermaid girl? Okay. I forgot, who is this supposed to be? <laughs> I have no idea. You were right. I, I had I had so many times where I do two voices at once. Here we go. All right, you arrive at your chosen table to find Viral looking askance at Miranda's lunch, a single very suspicious looking apple. Miranda, honey, your apple seems to be pulsing with unhealthy purple light. Oh, I'm sure it's just your imagination. <laughs> Ugh. It also has a skull on it. <coughs> Where's your food at? I don't know. I want some food too, Mylon. And it smells like lighter food. I don't think that's for eating. Of course it's for eating. It's a perfectly standard poison apple. You know, the sort of thing that puts a princess to sleep for a hundred years. You literally just admitted it's poison. <laughs> I know, I know. And I always said it wouldn't be I wouldn't be the kind of princess who eats a poison apple. But how else will I find a prince to make me, wake me with true love's kiss and live happily ever after with me? Girl, we need to have a little talk about feminism. You back me up on this. Tell her she doesn't need to poison herself for the sake of a man. You're kind of cutting it out to my end, just saying. <sighs> Is it the sensitivity still? I would say so. It's because I'm trying to speak it lower, but like, I don't want all the noises to be heard. All right, fine. We're doing this down here. It's a little better. Try and date Valerie. Valid. All right, what are you going to tell her? Let's see. You don't need to eat that apple. Prince, uh, princess should be eating poison apples so that you'll kiss them. Let's see. You don't need to eat that apple. There's plenty of eligible... <laughs> <laughs> I just... Oh, that's... that's not what I... A finder? For hot princes? What is this sorcery? I must see it at once! You pull up the website on your phone. You've already got it bookmarked for no reason. <laughs> Goodness, it even lists their pedigrees! And you're right, not all of them are even looking for sleeping princesses. This one is only looking for a princess who's a frog. That will be much simpler to achieve. I only need to end anger a minor witch this isn't what i was going for at all God, if you're that hungry for dick just buy a damn pie. <laughs> dick who said anything about dick royal marriage is strictly a business arrangement when it comes to romance we are free to make our own decisions that's good news for you especially since miranda seems to really like your suggestion 
Oh, I don't get, I don't like gain or lose any points stuff. Okay. No, we don't do that here, not in this uh, section. Oh, okay. So it's basically, I'll, I'll you, this be is just to bond today. with your uh, your chosen person. Okay. All right, here we go. Challenge time again. All right, we're choosing an animal. Uh, flying fox. Going with flying fox. I'm going with. Yep. Um... For those who don't know what a flying fox is, it's a very large fruit bat, and they're babies. Velociraptor. I mean, that did exist, so I'll let it, I'll let it that count. That does count. That does count. I was, they I, do count that as Okay, 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 okay. I'll count it, only because it was at one point alive. Okay, so we have to decide how hilarious it would be if Rain died after being attacked by one of the... By eight of the animals. Oh, well, I think definitely flying foxes would be a lot funnier, considering how small they are, and they're not even, like, predators. They just eat food all day. <laughs> Smart ones are called velociraptors. <laughs> Cause I mean, like, come on, Velociraptors would definitely kill you. Like, we all know Velociraptors that would definitely quick, kill you. That quick, basically. So yeah, I think fruit bats would be a I, hell I of a lot I feel like it's here. mainly no contest. I already know what your chat is going for. Well, I don't know. You don't know that. You, chat might surprise you. All right, chat. What do you think? What, which would it be funnier um, if Rain died to? Eight fruit bats, eight flying foxes, or eight Velociraptors? <laughs> Flying bats for the win. Bats make it. They do make adorable personas. I kind of want one. Like, honestly, everybody, sometimes people ask me, like, what would you have made Nakara if she wasn't a werewolf? It's like, probably a dragon or a bat or something. I like flying things. Okay, two for bats. Two for bats. Flying foxes are so freaking cute. Hmm. Plus, flying foxes have, like, you know, like foxy, wolfy faces. So it would have been perfect. It's just basically a winged wolf. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, what, hey, what, I'm walking here. What are you talking about, Gabagool? All right, so it looks like we have two We have two for bats anymore. I'm going to count down from 10. 10, 9, 8. The choices, El Elvishai, are flying, flying fox, a.k.a. a really large fruit bat, or Velociraptor, which would be funnier if Rain died. He was killed by a bunch of uh, flying foxes or a bunch of Velociraptors. I'm just, I'm just wait, wait, what did you miss? Okay, Deathers. Which would it be funnier if Rain was killed by? A bunch of flying foxes or a bunch of velociraptors? We have two votes for flying foxes. Okay, we have one for raptors. because what? Okay, Bree says foxes. Bree says flying foxes. We have one for raptors. Ah, you got one vote in your favor, Rain. Oh. Oh. All right. You have 10 <laughs> I, I, seconds. I, I, I... I feel like I'm still losing anyway, so there's that. I don't know. Maybe Deathers will vote for Velociraptors. You don't know that. Ten, Death nine, eight. That's no, too fast. Oh, t uh, see? Two for Raptors. But yes, you did. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, that's it. It looks like by one vote, the flying foxes have it. <laughs> don't worry, Rain. You can get it in the next round. I believe in you. All right, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe I've been to the bathrooms yet, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And you're likely going to shop, and you're going in the shop anyway. Oh wait, this sh oh shit, I know shop person. Um, I only have five. Maybe. Um, uh... Does it like randomly give you money in this game or something? No, I know there's ways to earn it, but I don't know how exactly. I don't want to go to the auditorium. Damien doesn't. I don't think Damien would be at the auditorium. He'd probably be either at like outdoors, gym, or bathroom. But bathrooms is taken. Uh, well, hmm, what do I need to raise? I need to raise my creativity. Let's, you know, let's go to the auditorium. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible. Oh. But you don't let that get you down. You start improvising all your lines. And it's marvelous. Somehow it advances the pathos of the play in unexpected ways. And that's saying something, since half of your impression is a rap battle against your inner fears. You like my cool hat? Thank you, Speaky. <laughs> I was, uh, I can't remember who redeemed the thing, dig the hat, but yeah. You gain plus two creativity. Fuck you. You're minding your own business, but Dam hey, it's Damien! Damien comes rusting through, punching everyone who's Ow. minding their own business. Ow. I have no clue. <laughs> Sick. <Ow. laughs> I was not expecting him in this look. Fuck! I'm so angry! I'm so angry I want to pull my own skull out and eat it! 
I'm so angry I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in its fucking face! He does have a reaper's mask. I'm so angry I want to spend years accumulating political... Political? A political... Excuse me, yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> political capital is so I can be president and then use the <laughs> nuclear ghost to blow out the sun! And you! You're standing in my way! Move before I punch you so hard you'll remember this. Melancholy. <laughs> Melancholy. The times when you call, when you could move without all of your bones hurting. Oh no! Violence incoming! Think fast! Uh. Uh, no time to think of anything clever! I'm gonna start dancing! You have no idea what to do, so you just start doing a silly dance. What's this? A fucking dance off? I'll show you a fucking dance off, noob! I'm a fucking deadly ninja on the dance floor. <laughs> Everybody's smooching in my chat. God damn. <laughs> yeah, Damien. Make the Oberlin house proud. God damn it. How did she get here? What? Unexpectedly, Damien starts boging fiercely, and he has quite the mood. All your classmates start chanting, dance off, dance off. <laughs> Damien's boging is so intense, it crushes you to the point that it's even worse than getting beaten by it. Well, it seems that in the <gasps> end, you actually didn't know how to move. Paris is burning, motherfucker. Damien out! Damien leaves you a sad, boneless pulp on the floor. You lose minus two boldness and minus one fun. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> um, sure. I want a creativity, man. I'm gonna go to the library. Oh my god, I'm getting more smoochies! That day, you spend some time on the library's PCs. Sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Ooh. <laughs> You're the Nigerian prince guy. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain plus 2 money. Hey, there we go. I told you there's a way to earn it. Someone taps you on the shoulder hesitantly. You turn around to see Liam! God, what is he doing here? <laughs> He's carrying a brand new notebook and a very Japanese pencil case. <laughs> what an expect to come down Link with the alley. Oh shit, that's right! You promised to teach him the secrets of Yaoi! <laughs> See? He bows to you. That's right! Oh, must have said. Ah. I'm learning Japanese <laughs> so as to make this more authentic. Hmm. I'm ready Wallow for your the Yowie for my master. first lesson. <laughs> oh yep. my god. Yep. I'm ready for my first lesson. You know nothing about teaching Yowie. You kind of just draw naked dudes snuggling and hope it turns people on. But Liam won't buy that. He thinks you're a Yowie master. You've got to teach him something. He's right here, waiting. Okay, think. What's the first lesson of Yowie? Yaoi is all tenderness uh, for our first lesson. You must we go will away, practice I... advanced cuddling. Let's see. Draw me like uh, one of your French girls. Um, Thank you for popping in. I'm gonna go with the first one. You cuddle Liam for hours, teaching him the finer points of spooning, sporking, and salad forking. <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. I feel I'm learning a lot already. I'm anxious to start practicing the actual drawing part of Yaoi, but I won't question your wisdom. Maybe we should meet up next week. I still want to master butter knifing. You wonder how long you keep the scam going. There's certainly plenty of silverware in the world. You gain plus one creativity, plus one smarts, and plus one charm. <laughs> Holy yeah. crap. Uh, that we it's uh, 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 uh. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. That weekend, Liam contacts you for your advice. No, no, no. You misunderstood. I don't want your advice. I want to hear your express an opinion just to um, see if you're capable of forming one. 
specifically, I like to hear your opinion on Rain's cultural literacy. He is. Is he cultured like an artisanal cheese or uncultured like milk? I'm gonna hook you the fuck up with Liam. What the hell? He's so cultured, he can tell the difference between theater and theater. He can? And I mean, so can I. I definitely heard the difference between the two words that you just said. If you'll excuse me, I have to go find Rain now. For romantic reasons, not to ask <laughs> him to explain what you said. Why would you think that? Liam hurries off in his artistic mission. Silly Liam. The difference is that theater is done by actors, whereas theater is done by actors. You gain plus three creativity. God damn. Challenge time. All right. Great. Right, now I'm hooking you up What's with Liam. You're, you're dating Liam now. <laughs> All right. We have to choose a food. Um, cheap burger. Pizza. Okay. Okay. Very simple. Very simple. All right. And decide on how filthy this sounds. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do mine first and I'll do yours. Hey, darling. My cheeseburger is now moist and ready for you. <laughs> hey, and darling. Then... My pizza is mo is moist and ready for you. <laughs> okay, guys. Which do you think sounds dirtier? Cheese. Okay, pizza. We got one for pizza. <laughs> which is dirtier? The, pe the pizza slice is like down under. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See? I don't know, man. I think saying your cheeseburger is moist and ready for you is pretty fucking dirty. It hey, sounds darling, so wrong. My pizza is moist and ready for you. <laughs> it just—it's dirty, and but it sounds so wrong. Oh, two pizza. Oh man, that is. Uh, two pizza. Well, I can't believe how this game is really. So I just saw something. Um, yes. Local play. You could you could definitely do like uh what is it? It's normally up to four players, so um you could do local play with just one mouse. <laughs> so yeah. So hey, at least I have something to like uh, share screen whenever I'm on like a server or anything. Sort of. For uh for playing. <laughs> okay, it looks like so far nobody else is putting any input. So I'm gonna give ten more seconds to decide if it's if it goes to rain or if there's any more votes for cheap worker. All right, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three for pizza. All right, that's a done deal. Ow, love you too, easy. Pizza it is. Pizza's the winner. Oh boy, <laughs> we're getting close to the end. Um, sure. All right, you um, go first. Sure. Uh, let's see. I wanted to go to class, but I don't want to like go to the shop again. Um. I haven't went to, let's see. Have I went to the gym? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know. I went to auditorium. I went to library. I went to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I did went to gym, but the, the shop girl was there. Yeah, you did. So do you so want to go again? Basically, it's like outdoors or gym that I haven't done yet. Um, I'm going outdoors. All right. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. At one point, Juan the small magical Latino cat slips on a banana peel. You start to laugh at him. <laughs> he asks you to stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him that you somehow steal plus two fun from him. Hooray! When you finally catch a moment alone, Liam approaches you sh shyly, authentic Japanese pencil case in hand. He's still going around. Yeah, I, I seduced him for you. Um, onigashimasu? Oh. Onigashimasu. Is that, is that? Okay, onigashimasu, sensei. I, I once know. again require instruction in the noble art of Yaoi. Oh man, you totally forgot that you were pretending to teach Liam Yaoi. Time to continue the charade. I have followed your instructions faithfully, but I am now struggling with the bane of Yaoi's everywhere. Writer's block. My drawings are fine, but my plot lines all follow the same art. Two cute boys cuddling and 
Then what? I'm stuck. Please, Sensei. I am on my knees begging at the roots oh. of the tree of knowledge. <laughs> Please fill Please fill me with your seed. <laughs> Gross. You're not sure that you're not sure he meant that how it sounded, but that's not important right now. What should his next Yaoi be about? Let's see. Oh my god. A cute, a cute young boy falls desperately in love with his handsome yeah instructor. <laughs> Kill your darlings literally work for uh sports seats. Um this is tough because he's he's more like the best friend that I don't want to like get rid of, but I'm trying to like get with the other girl, but he keeps suck showing up everywhere I'm going. Yeah, I keep putting him there. Cause like yeah, you remember you shooting me in the foot with Damien? Have fun with Liam. <laughs> but of course, when you're running out of authentic ideas for art, make meta art. And then the second half of the Yowie can be the Yowie with my Yowie. <laughs> <laughs> and the Yowie within the Yowie can have a Yowie within a Yowie, and so on. A never ending source of creative refreshment. Your ideas are trumps, <laughs> are so transcendent, of Sensei. That I feel a great love for <laughs> your building. Yowie Inception! <laughs> it's almost as <laughs> if it's true. Life really does imitate art. Liam runs off to draw his latest masterpiece before you can make life imitate art anymore. But you're charming. You're making progress. You gain plus two creativity and plus one charm. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Jesus Christ. I'll go to the library. That day you spent some time on the library's PCs, mining some bitcoins. Hey, yo, dog, I heard you like yaoi and yaoi. <laughs> this is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to two, th two million dollars. Which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so plus two money. Why is the library always the money grab for us? I don't know. I guess I guess this is just where you earn money in the game. You're doing your thing when a wild Damien suddenly appears. Hey, noob. <laughs> hey, noob. I love him. Hey, you. You look like you have nothing better to do. You sound almost like you're trying to do the Beetlejuice musical, the Broadway musical. I can show <laughs> you what comes next. I do this bullshit like eight times a week. <laughs> I need a mountain for a prom, for the prom, because walking is for losers. And also because I lost my driver's license after I drove my motorcycle through another Sunday school picnic. <laughs> Damn. But I won't just take. <laughs> but I won't take just any lame ass mount. I need the best creature in hell. So let's brainstorm if you don't answer in the next 10 seconds. I'm putting a bit in your mouth and. <laughs> Damien! Damn, at least buy me a drink first. Kinky. Anyway. Okay, we're talking hell here, so it's a note. Uh. Because, like, a goat sounds so boring, but they are assholes. But a giant gelatinous 50 nosed creature? Nah, we're doing goat. Uh. Oh. So because I'm a demon and I live myself. in hell with my two dads, who are also demons, you think I'm into goats? That's fucking offensive! No! I should have known! What guy is impregnant? <laughs> Come on, what read it! What guy impregnates a goat with a hell spawn <laughs> once? And now everybody thinks we're all about goats down there. Dude, what's wrong with you? You know goats are a sensitive topic for demons. You lose minus one charm and minus one fun. No! Minus my two ch charms, minus one fun. Oh, my bad. No! Fuck, I'm losing my charms! Alright. Uh, okay, we have to build- Oh, shit, we have to mimic the Wait. giraffe noises. I don't know what a giraffe sounds like. 
I actually have um, knowledge of this because at the uh, what is it, at Animal Kingdom in Disney World, they of uh, the Lion King uh, stunt show spectacular. They one of the th sections was the giraffe sections. Okay, you uh... do the. Okay, that's yours. Yeah. Mine is. I'm a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a giraffe! <laughs> that's my that's mine. Alright. I'm pretty sure there's something that's gonna be with me. Oh wait, we just have okay. Who th who who did a better giraffe noise? Me or Rain? Oh I'm a giraffe! <laughs> <laughs> Nagara wins by doll. <laughs> that's one for me! Because of the meme! <laughs> it's the meme! Oh we got one for Rain, it's a tie! It's such a good meme! Come on, man! As soon as I heard Giraffe, you knew I had to do it! <laughs> I had to- I had to do it to him! You wanna see rain- okay, you wanna see rain succeed? I see, I see. Okay, that's fine. Also, it's raining outside? How- how- how funny! <laughs> thank you, how, thank you, Reezy. How ironic! <laughs> um, you're supposed to mimic the noise a giraffe makes, and my giraffe noise was, I'M A GIRAFFE! And his was uh, 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 it's an old uh, it's an old vine of a dude skiing down a mountain and like photo bombs. Yeah, Everybody say Colorado. say Colorado. I'm a giraffe. I fucking love that one. Colorado. Ow. Thank you, Reese. I love you. All right, we ha we're still at a tie. We need somebody to break this tie. Either that or I'm doing a coin flipper, or I'm gonna do random. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, I almost forgot how to count. 4, 3, 2, I've drank too much vodka tonight. 1, Nika, okay, I win. I win just barely. Ah. Brie, what happened? We had to mimic the noises of giraffes, and uh, uh, unfortunately, I just squeaked in the victory. Rain. Let's go. Ow! Why? Ow! Stop! Rain! We're playing the game, damn it! <laughs> Rain! <laughs> you have to voice now. What are you doing? You mess with me and then you try sitting at my table? Uh, da, uh, da. Ow! Thank you. Oh, and ow! Thank you, Void. Uh, ow! Welcome in, Void. Ow! Okay. I appreciate it. Rain, you got a smooch. <laughs> you just got. Ha, how funny the hearts appeared above your head. Oh, now you just Go got. Go in and get ready to die, fuckhead. You just eat in the corner in silence. Will you die soon? Who knows? Meanwhile, nothing else happens. And if you think this is unfair, next time drone try to sit at the table of a person who has expressed his desire to murder you. Totally not a smart move. Um, Shit, I don't sure. get the bonding. What the fuck? Who's this? I hear one gifted sub. Why, thank you. Keep bonking. Merci, okay. Merci, merci. This? I don't know who. You want to sit with Tiger Man? Oh, that's girl. the coach. That's the coach. That's the coach? Yeah, it's, it's Tiger Man. Okay. Sit with the coach? Or you want to sit with uh, Scott and Medusa? It got, I know. I, I'm. It's so dumb that I can get gifted the bot out of all things. You um, got nunk. If you get I <gasps> another gifted sub. Go in here. Why isn't my? I should be getting bonked in the face with when somebody gives sub. Ow! Ow! There it is. Okay. There's a yeet. <laughs> Watching Vera eat is usually pretty disturbing. Her snakes eat at the same time as she does. But at least it's usually quiet. This time, however, Scott is doing his best to change that. Touchdown. Go lefty! Gobble that mouse! No, no! Watch out for Wiggles coming up from behind! Use that tongue! Go! Ugh. He does this every week or so. Whenever my snakes eat. He seems to think snake eating contests are a competitive sport. Also, I don't think he realizes that an actual snake eating contest would probably involve people eating snakes. I tried charging him for tickets to get him to stop, but he actually pays for Keeps track of each snake's statistics on a little index card. Does he even give him a name? Go 
Go Slither! Go Benny! Go Sanchez! Go Snake Snake! <laughs> Ow! Thank you, Jethers! Love you, too! Those cards are neat. Oh, no matter how much he pays for the turn, it isn't enough. This seems like a really tense situation. You resolve it in the only way you know how. By opening your mouth and yelling... Boring! This is nothing compared to Earth First Warm Eating Contest. Snake, 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 snake! Eat their food and stay awake! Um... What? <laughs> <laughs> There's a more exciting sport than snake eating contest? You've gotta tell me about it! Oh, yeah. Uh, earthworm co eating contests are literally crawling with suspense. And even better, they're going on all the time with thousands of players in each game. Thousands? Where's the game? Where do I go? Anywhere there's dirt. Anywhere? There's dirt in so many places! So many places that aren't here, keep going. Sports that game or whatever. I will, Vera! I will! I swear, one of these days, he's going to decide choking on his food is a sport and die. While you hope Scott doesn't actually die, the main thing on your mind right now is how Vera's smiling at you. Nice! Yeah! Oh boy! Challenge well, I time! I have uh, two people then. <gasps> Hell yeah. yeah two monsters. Alright. We have to decide based on how shitty it would be if your country, uh, for your country if you were the president. Start <laughs> debate. How shitty would the country be if I were the president? Oh shit. How could we be worse than Trump? <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't drop the T word in here, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Shh. I gotta think. How? I mean, mm, how can I make this country more shit than it already is? Oh, I can think of one a lot more. Yeah, National $10, Furry Month. Ten dollars a gallon. <laughs> oh no! What? Fuck you! I'm making it twenty. Fifty. A hundred. A million. <laughs> all right. How about this? I remove internet for the entire country. We're going back to the Stone Age. Everybody now has to uh, walk to work. Um, we have to use spears and stuff. No more guns. We're going back to spears and bows. Um, electricity banned. Uh, National Furry Month is still very much a thing, though. I want a National Furry Month. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I am banning the color pink because I hate it. I feel like these things are present. Stuff the president's not control. You don't know that. What if I? What if I decide that I'm making this a totalitarian government? You can't. You can't really ban that color because I am banning the meat, internet. Meat still shows pink. All meat that must now be cooked to well done. <laughs> Furries need internet. Uh, you don't know that. <laughs> There's also such thing as local furry meetups. Uh, we're going back to snail mail people. Uh, okay, I, let's see. All internet is banned except for if you're watching my channel. You have to watch. The only channel you can get to on the internet is me. <laughs> you're the worst. <laughs> I would I would say, like, uh, no more dating sites. So. <gasps> oh, goodness. Yeah, no more dating sites. Every single um, subscription that you must purchase includes ads that comes every single minute and the ads are four 30 second ads that are unskippable Damn. you have to pay twenty dollars an hour just to have premium Ooh. and <laughs> you everyone must only be subscribed when it comes to TV Direct TV in its shitty quality. Well, don't know when Nika solves Rain's problem. All right, who's who's who is the worst president? Which one of us would be the worst president? I okay. Orizi votes me out. Thank you, Orizi. Love you too. Orizi votes me as the worst president. Uh, who 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 is worse, me or Rain? We got one for me. You guys will be spending twenty dollars an hour for two for me. Premium. And, I, and I'm not saying which premium for rain. thing it is. This is the worst president. Who is the worst? Like, how... Who is the... Which of us would fuck the country over the most? 
you basically need like a college degree just to at least make so much money uh, per hour just to spend twenty dollars an hour stage. for premium. Waluigi versus Pretty Wolf Gamer, easy choice. Hold on, I'm just checking. So, so one for me from Arizi, one from Pyrus. All right, Elvishai, Elvishai, what do you say? See, I'm learning. I'm correcting myself. I'm noticing. Another shitty thing I could do. I can always pronounce everybody's names wrong. <laughs> I mean, don't we all? Rain would be worse. Oh, man, it's a tie. All right. If this tie is not broken in 10 seconds, we're doing the random button. 10. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, I, I, I thought of one more thing that could possibly change everybody's uh, opinion. Every single, Orzy, like, every single other prices that is currently with the inflation is still the same, but minimum wage starts at three dollars an hour. Man, all right. There, there you go. You have Rain's last input. All right. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, it's random time. And the winner is Rain. Yeah. All right. It's, I become like that vine of like announcing things incorrectly. Um, sure. All right, where are you um, going first, Rain? Sure. <laughs> sure. I still haven't went to the gym, so let's go there. All right. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly, you can convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. Uh, basically, you're affecting who gets to go first in the round. The player bursts into tears, and you take advantage of the moment of weakness, throwing a ball at him. You lose minus five mercy. So that, that might be useful in Monster Pump sequel, but is it now? And you gain plus two charm. I think I should be okay. You finally find a quiet place to sit and read some of Liam's latest yaoi. He's really taken your suggestion to heart. Hmm. He peeps in the chat, how would it be? <laughs> Evaluating my most recent work, Sensei. Your dedication to my instruction is truly humbling. Actually, that instruction is very reason I am seeking you out today. I'm ready for my final lesson. As you, <laughs> as you suggested, I spent thousand hours on pecs, a, a thousand hours on abs, and a thousand hours on wings. My grades have suffered considerably, but the bodies of my boys are trans transcendent. My thing grows daily, and yet I am unfulfilled. I do not lust for fame or riches. I only lust for creative fulfillment. Damn, you really thought he was going to say you, huh? Please, Sensei. I have been patient, but... I think it's time. Teach me the secret technique that will elevate my yaoi above all others. Shit, you don't know any secret technique. But you didn't make it this far by telling the truth. Quick, tell him something! Let's see. You can only write truthfully about what you know. It's time to, for me to show you the secrets of yaoi. Intimately. <laughs> you must perform a... Uh, ceremonial sacrifice to Ama and Shinin, the Japanese uh, deities of Yaoi. Yeah, sure, that. I'm going with that. Not, okay, yeah, that, I figured that was going to be not so bald. <laughs> How did I not think of that? Obviously, an art as elevated as Yaoi has to be controlled by a divine force. Yep. I couldn't see that before since I'm mostly an atheist, but Yaoi has given me faith. You stab someone in the halls while screaming, Oh gods, we need your help! Suddenly the halls are filled with a mysterious mist, and someone appears! Hey, I'm Koalamos, Greek god of stupidity. I've come to give you some divine advice. Don't stab people in the school while asking for help from uns to unspecified gods. That's just stupid. I'm going for Damien. Bye. 
That was good divine advice indeed. I now realize your idea of stabbing people in the halls and beseeching the gods was probably a stupid one. And I emphasize the your idea part. You understand why he was saying that so loud. The cops are right behind you, probably because of that thing about stabbing. Am I getting arrested? I think you might be. You only spend the next few hours at the police station because apparently stabbing people is not that serious in this fucked up society we are. Yeah, you do lose minus two smarts and minus one charm. I, I figured I was gonna be like losing something anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so yeah, I'm going for Damien and uh, Rain was going for um, the Medusa Lady Vera. All right, time for outdoors. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You're talking to Juan, the small magical Latino cat, when he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob the Scary Clown. You accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob, stab him several times, open his bleeding chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Really? You think that's how this works? Well, it is, because you got him plus two fun from poor Bob. Damn! He was straight up like, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah, literally. Looking around, you see Damien and Liam are arguing about whether black metal is better than death metal. Suddenly, Damien stops arguing and sniffs the air. Hmm. Go on, Rain. Hold on, hold on. I, I had to fix something on OBS. Gonna go eat some food? Okay, Bree. All right. Yeah, I had to fix something on OBS. So, let's see. What happens? <coughs> Shut up! Do you smell that? Yeah. It smells like Christian Dior and plot armor. Oh, see you in a bit, Elvishai. Oh, fuck! Prepare to die! It's me, dickheads, and I brought enough crucifixes and holy water for the whole class! Oh, look at me! I've been meaning to finish my take-home final for AP murder. Go ahead, just try to kill me! I'm the protagonist, bitch! She's right, unfortunately. This is well-trod territory. We are... Oh, see you later, as Pyrus! they say... Pretty fucked. Screw that! You've got a way to save da you've got a way to save Damien and Liam without killing anybody. All you have to do is. I kind of want to throw a brick at her head. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> oh, what do you mean not so bold? I fucking chuck a brick at her head. You pull your emergency brick out of your backpack and chuck it at the Slayer's head. Ow! My consciousness. You expect Damien and Liam to thank you, but they don't seem pleased. What a patronizing display of distinguished- uh, Disingenuous. Disingenuous charity. You think you're the only one who knows how to throw bricks? I'm gonna throw two bricks. One in with each hand. Your colonialism- Colonialism. Has served to <laughs> infantil- uh, infantilize rather than empower us. See what you did? You upset Liam so much he's not even saying real words anymore. Ugh. I was so ready to be in some- No, Damien! Up. I guess it's gonna have to be you now. Serves you right for trying to help. You lose minus two charm and minus one luck. Damn it! I'm losing every fucking round! Oh god, Monster Prom is close. Oh no. Oh no! This is gonna be the tough one because, like, he's he's more into me, but I'm starting Ow, to get easy. with her with like the whole uh, lunch thing. Um, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna see. Hey there. Are you asking Vera? Yes. I'm gonna. I'm Damien. I've been losing out a lot with Damien, but I'm gonna no. trim it anyway. Let's see if we get um, our prom dates. Sure. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. You're asking me yeah. to go to prom with you? Sorry, I'm focusing on my career. Ugh. My career is not dating dudes like you. Damn it! Bye, loser. <laughs> this failure haunted you the rest of your life and you never moved on, becoming a total and constant failure. You never succeeded at anything again. Damn it! So if I went with him, I would have actually uh, done it. Maybe, probably. Except for that time you won at Monsters Got Talent, but your talent was being a failure at love. It astonished everyone how bad you were at romance. Not any less sad, though. Let's go. 
You're fuck gonna be fucked. Too. I'm gonna be fucked. You're gonna too, be I fucked, bet you. though. From with you? How can I put this delicately? Hmm. Fuck no! Damn, we both what failed! Loser. You were so ashamed by your failure that after prom, you were you photo edited Garfield onto all your prom pics as if he was your prom date. Yeah. <laughs> Garfield the orange cartoon cat. Not your brightest thing. Anyway, even with your photo editing skills, you still couldn't photo edit the sadness of your face away. Sad. Damn. <laughs> Rain, most likely to make Pluto a planet again. Damien invested in giving fearsome makeovers. <laughs> I think we might have enough time for a short round. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? <laughs> the like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. All right, so you're actually having different sex than what I have. Damien loved fire to the very end. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and That's learning totally about who we were uh, and who we could be. Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair, and he ended up in prison for arson. Fortunately, <laughs> prison was flammable. Vera realized she was a character in a video game, which infuriated her. She spent her life making connections and building powers because she's not a part of the game. She plays the game. So be careful. Maybe now she's the one pulling your strings. <laughs> Scott became a world-renowned athlete, but he ended his career to come back to his own hometown and take on the job of the athlete he admired the most. Now he's back at high school again, working as the coach. For those three weeks, what? the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but you but there were plenty of battles left in that war called you. Once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. And you know what? I like love the song! What if I told you that the world was gonna end, and you had 15 minutes to spend with me or your friends? They played this one in um Steven Universe too. Really? Yeah, they did. So you, you went through all your texts that remain in mind. Okay. And you know what? Like it always does, life happens. And it was wonderful. Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a, That's the same thing a I super wrote. legal affair, and he ended up in prison for us. Fortunately, the person was playing. Okay. Let's see. Her um, kept a fierce, strong, and stunning. Some haters once said adult life would put that mean bitch in her place. But you know what? Miranda making adult life her own bitch. Miranda got a job being a princess of her kingdom, which was actually kind of her job already. Well, you don't see her complaining about it. For those three weeks, the monster prom uh, seemed larger than life. And then it was gone, just like that. The battle for a monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called you. But once again, we were young and afraid, and we were ready to start. All right. Let's go. I don't know if you can skip the uh, the thing. Oh my god, I've unlocked eight new images in the gallery! Let's go! Uh. While I wait for rain. Let's see. Ooh, there's one with Scott. I haven't unlocked Damien yet. Oh, it's the Polaroid at the end, I see. Need yeah, I'm still having the, uh... More art! Nice. Yo! Yeah, oh right, it's another one of the it's a, one of the other werewolf dudes. I was like, werewolf, I was like, werewolf, werewolf. Oh, it's concept art. I see, yeah, I love it. I'm in so much. Some of the fan art is sick. Alright. Are we ready? I I will I'll do the short one for this one. Yeah, I'm still I'm still uh, through the credits. Okay, once you're done though once you're done we'll do that. Um let me know when you're ready. This time, I'm not going to have chat decide who wins and who loses. I'm just going to do random for every time. 
Yeah, that's fine. I only have an hour. <laughs> I'm likely to still be streaming after this anyway, so there's that. Yeah, I have to end at 10. I also got attacked. Worst president for a reason. I know. Oh, I can just press exit. <laughs> okay, I'm in the main menu again. Okay. I will create a new lobby. Oh, I did not mean to do that, so... Online. Um, go back to the main menu. Okay. And... Uh, I get it. Online. Alright, it's 546. Here we go! I don't remember if I've done the short version. Or not, so we'll see. Alright, we're doing the short game, 45 minutes. I mean, after America wins due to me not messing with our army, I'll be seen as the worst president with the best comeback ever. <laughs> ah, uh, spooky high school. <laughs> the sweetest years of our lives. So, yeah, I was right, it was high school. Yeah, it is high school. That's the. It's so weird. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the moon. Everyone will hate you for starting World War III, but love you for ending it. Mm. That's fair. <laughs> we were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. I'm gonna still do the same thing as last time. This time I'll just do I'll just do Nikara, so you don't have to try and pronounce the last name. She pronouns. Hey. Let's go. You know me. Yeah. And um, okay. <laughs> and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom date, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Good. Damien LaVey, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. <laughs> Liam DeLioncourt, 4XX. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable door. Yay! Polly Geist, 22? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And v Vera Overload, 23. A mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clever. It, ha it was clear. It had to be one of them. But who? We only had two weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting. We only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said... We were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Aw oh, man, it's time for the hot or not quiz! Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they're rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. <laughs> Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, TM. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! <clears throat> Question number one. The coolest reality show would be, people in positions of power must face all sorts of questions relevant to their field, and if they fail, they lose their jobs, and society wins. Ooh. Twelve experts on the various arts of seduction live in a house where they must face a common challenge, seducing a potato into marriage, somehow. Eight rich people fight in weekly challenges to see who's the best at giving money to you. <gasps> yes! Give me money! You know, I'm basically the same way. So wealthy. You get the chance to produce a movie. It's based on something about superheroes, but with a love triangle between a beautiful and yet somewhat relatable girl, maybe she's always stating she's a mess, and two of the super hot superheroes, which are also like vampires or pirates or both. Instant hit. Two cool guys walking away from rad explosions, and they don't look at the explosions. They don't give a fuck about the explosions. The, <laughs> they reflect on life and love. But it's super dope and kick-ass because they do so walking away from never-ending explosions. Michael Bay. The most influential Russian novelist of the ex... Uh, I forget, 109th century have gone nuts. They don't remember anything about last night, and now they can't find the manuscript of the brothers Karam Karamazov. The and Dostoyevsky had to deliver it today. Um, I think that's 19. Oh, no, X is 10. X-I-X. -X Te 10. Is and 19. Then... I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, I think that's 110, but I don't know. Maybe you're wrong. I'm wrong. 
like, like, think of this. You know how, like, 4 is IV? Yeah. And then goes to V, then VI? It's like that for the 9, 10, 11. I, X, 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 I. Yeah, so the X in front of it would be 1, So, nine. so yeah, yeah, basically, so basically that, then it follows by I, X. Since the 19th century. Oh, it is 19. Yeah, the 19th century. Oh, yeah, that would make more sense because they're talking about Dostoyevsky. All right, I'm doing cool guys. Don't look at explosions. Um, oh, Rudumi, you sing the like the old Yahoo tune? I don't know what the old Yahoo tune from TV sounds like. I will go with the 19th century one. Oh, fun. The world will end tomorrow. What will you do today? Nobody ends the world but me. I'll end the world today. It's okay. We invented the apocalypse to take care of the overpopulation of communists. I'll finish my novel. Whoever comes after me after the end should know my legacy. I always party as if there were no tomorrow. So who cares? They always tell you the world is ending. No, I'll profit on the scenario. 100 push-ups. No, no. 200 push-ups. You know, I'll end the world today. Fuck it. <laughs> the world ended today. Um. Thanks. Let's see. Yes, I knew exactly what I was going for. All right, Let's here go. we go. All right. Definitely gonna start with Jim. That day, an epic dodgeball match. Basically, place. now it's like whoever I'm like uh, be more with, it, like I know who to go for. Okay. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. Later, you see Damien packing a bag. Excuse right. me, I was just drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going away for the weekend. <sighs> to detention. I have fucking detention again. Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with booby traps booby. <laughs> that poured silky piss on whoever opened it? I mean, I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Let me spill the tea. This school is strict as fuck. <laughs> anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond fucking ditching. Uh, do it. Do it. Just fucking ditch do it. <laughs> Damn, why didn't I think of that? I mean, I just did, but I didn't consider it as serious as a serious option. If I skip detention, what are they gonna do? Give me detention? If God sends me to hell, I will simply not go. What's he going to do? Send me to hell? I'm already not going. <laughs> I can do anything. Make a bonfire of the desk. Jerk off to do the bullshit. Fucking metal. And I'll just skip detention forever. And wreck as much havoc as I want. Fuck yeah, havoc! Says Bree. Well, you may have created a monster, but at least he's your monster. You gain plus two smarts and plus one boldness. Um, I, I didn't sure. know this said Reek. <laughs> yes, it's uh, I'll go to the library. That day you spent time on the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares, and you gain plus 2 money. <laughs> what do you expect? Later, you, Vera, and Miranda prepare me to prepare your case for your ruthless rhetoric class. Your scenario for the week? Monsters finally rule the world, but puny humans still demand equal rights. How will you deal with such an audacity? 14 hour workday, media censorship, start a fictional war! Ugh, that sounds like so much work. Can we just throw money at them? Oh, or cake! I heard if you let them eat cake, they calm down. What about you? Do you have any ideas? You're not one of those group members who just lets everyone else do the work. Let's see. 
Just remember there <laughs> the three R's. Relocation, reduction. Re education. Re oh, okay. Re education. Re integration. Yeah. Integration. Yeah, okay. The problem is that they're not happy. So let's repress them into happiness. Um I'm gonna say this one. You propose setting up safe havens for certain model humans where they can enjoy equal rights. But these safe havens are actually propaganda factories designed to show that monsters are naturally better than humans. After that, indoctrinated humans are sent back into the wild to spread the correct idea. It's a good plan, but what about the ones that won't buy it? Well, we need to get the food for the safe havens from somewhere, don't we? We're in his cost-effective thinking convincing Vera. Or at least scare her, scares her enough to conceive. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. You are so smart and strong. Much better than those puny humans, right? <laughs> time to trade places. We're not doing challenges, just random today. We only have limited time. Yeah. And you go first this time. All right, here we go. This one new. Um, Lunch time, okay. baby. Okay. Sitting. Ha! Mew motherfucker! <laughs> you find Damien and Vera hunched over a scale model of Spooky National Bank made up of milk cartons, lunch trays, and ketchup packets. Alright, we'll go in through the side entrance, disable the alarms with an EMP, and blow the safe. <laughs> Why don't we just blow up the side entrance, blow up the alarms, and blow up the safe? <sighs> because we only have so much C4, Damien. That sounds like a personal problem. What's this thing? Damien points at a kosher dill pickle in front of the vault labeled Police Ogre. That's the police ogre. He's got eyes all the way around his head. He never sleeps, doesn't take bribes, and is invincible in combat. Can we blow him up? No, we can't blow him up! We need to find a way around him! Well, I'm out of ideas. Yo, right. We'll cut... <laughs> We'll cut you in on the heist if you can solve this ogre problem for us. Luckily, you're a heist mastermind. Before Vera or Damien can react to you... What are you doing? You're robbing her with her? Or are you gonna eat the pickle? Let's see. Not the big... <laughs> split the money in. Yeah. Quick as flash, you take a cab over to the bank, walk in front of the door, fist bump the police ogre, and walk out with all the money. You ride back to school and dump half the money out on the table, totally burying their shitty scale model of the bank. What? How? You explain that you and the police ogre go to the same salsa dancing class. Taking advantage of Christian's friendship to a little profit? I've never respected you more. I assume this pile of money and gold ingots is my share? You nod. Sexy. Hey! hey -o. Hey, where's my cut? I've got your cut right here, interloper. Vera stabs Damien with one of the irresponsibly sharp butter knives the school cafeteria provides. You've never been more turned on. Oh, shit. Let's go. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to cat. I'm going to cat lady. What's hey, up? Stranger. Shouldn't you be out there buying a romance? Trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyway, welcome. I know exactly what erotic fanfics about dragons. <laughs> I know exactly what I need. I need I need this badass tattoo. Thanks. Ah, nothing better than the smell of money. Well, actually, there are many better smells, but you know what I mean, right? Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, random time. Rain again. <laughs> I'd read that book if it had a certain dragon. <gasps> Ow! Thank you, Reese. All right, where are you going? Uh, at least I already went to the library, so I don't need to do that. I'm going to class. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and dating games, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this time. You gain plus two smarts. <laughs> Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned, and only Vera has the antidote. She does this all the time. It's how she invites you to hang out. Hey there. There you are. Thank you so much for coming. I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise and I need a con a concierge. Wait, consigliere? No, consigliere? 
I believe so. It's a very funky word. I've never seen that one. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up. The idea is simple, yet brilliant. Think Uber, but for killing. I call it murder. But it turns out the market is flooded with assassination apps. Assassination apps and blood. I need a way to get ahead of the pack. Since you're such a good advisor. I Let's see. Differentiate uh, yourself by being the only service that offers free range organic murders. Viral marketing, literally tailoring a highly uh, contagious virus that makes people love murder. What do you think? Ooh, this is a tough one. What do you think? It sounds like something Bureau would want to hear. I would say this? You know, yes! You might be on to something. See it now. Locally sourced knives, farm to sternum pitchforks, gluten free pistols, and the corpses? The corpses will make superb compost for a bespoke poison nurse. Did someone say the words local, organic, gluten free, and bespoke? Yes. All those meaningless words are more and more to be yours if you sign up for my new assassination app. Sorry. I'm strictly opposed to violence and it, as it goes against Welcome the back, poetry Reed. of the soul. The poisons are brewed in small batches. Alright, fine. I'll try to think of someone I want to kill. I want killed. If you want to just give me money, I can select someone to kill on your behalf. Hmm, well, okay, as long as it's organic. As Vera accepts Liam's cash, you can tell that this is only the start of a long and fruitful business partnership. Fear splits the earnings with you, and you gain plus two smarts and plus one money. Hey. Well, let's go. Well, let's go, guys. It's time for a rave. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. You're taking a break with Scott, Damien, and Vera when the whole wolf pack comes stomping over. Oh, Holy great. shit! <laughs> oh great, it's oh, these boneheads this. again. I wonder what they want. The wolf pack is here! Hey Scott, what's up dog? And non-dogs? Eat shit, you fucking flea farm! Whoa, Damien, calm down! These guys are my cousins! Even more important, they're my teammates! Oh yeah? Well, if we're so important, how come we didn't see you at the dog park last full <gasps> moon? Oh my goodness. Last full moon? Oh, wow. I don't remember. I was at the bowling alley with Damien and Vera, and then it was the next morning, and I was naked and covered in blood. Oh yeah? That night was rad. We all wake up naked and covered in blood after a full moon, Scott. But we wake up naked and covered in blood together. You know why? Because we're werewolves. The question is, are you? <gasps> uh, um, er... I'm sick of these creeps always harassing Scott. We need to get rid of them. But how? Uh... A fiendish dis- Oh, I think that would be better for Vera. Stack Vera and Damien on his shoulders to make yourself as big as possible? Hmm. That sounds like a da That sounds like a Damien response. Battle stations, you cry, and your friends spring into action. At least, Damien springs into action. You never practice this with Vera. What are you two- Ah! Damien yanks Vera up onto his shoulders. The three of you tower over the wolf pack. Whoa, where did that huge gorgon come from? And does she have a demon head for a dick? What the fuck? Whatever witchcraft is going on here, we're not into it. We're sports jocks, not warlocks. The wolf pack flees and you manage to get Scott calmed down shortly afterwards. You disengage from the class. That was metal as fuck! Demon head dick! 
is gonna be the name of my new noise band. Demon head dick, best name ever. Wow, I already knew you guys were my best friends. But when you work together, it turns out you're also my biggest friend. Well, I have to admit, I did quite like being taller than Emily. And you have to admit, you kind of like being under her. You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> that weekend. Oh boy, something happens too! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. You're having your evening to get a nice place when you start feeling sleepy. Next thing you know, you're waking up in an abandoned warehouse. Finally! Hello? It took you almost two hours to recover consciousness. Weird much? Anyway, let's do this quick. I have someone else to drug and kidnap at night. You're here tonight because I might or might not be starting to have feelings for Frank. But feelings are dumb and blind and plain dumb. And I won't let my feelings lead me into a life I end up regretting. Thing is, I'm fabulous. So of course I've created a specific list of features I expect in a look. You know, to guarantee I don't end up murdering them out of boredom and contempt. And you know what I appreciate in people? Ambition and direction. I want someone that's thinking beyond just where they want to go to see. I want someone with a plan, so we can both be fabulous and conquer life in our own way. So tell me, would you describe Rain as an ambitious person who has planned an amazing future for himself? Yeah, so he has an entire life planned out and set in a color code of manila folders, including all potential scenarios, tons of charts, and some thoughts on how his lineage could continue his master plan. Or, Rain works at a burger joint on the weekends. According to his plans, 20 years from now, he might be the manager. Also, his very serious plans to become platinum in FOF by next year. I don't um, even know which one would be good. I think she'd like this one more. She's very busy. Manila folders? Charts? Color-coded? Keywords to getting a lady excited. She is simping. You're pretty sure they aren't, but sure. Uh, spoiler alert, they're not. <laughs> I wonder if he uses the same color codes that I use my phone. Who knows? Even our life master plans could merge. I'm looking forward to analyzing the degree of compatibility in our lineage plan. <sighs> Look at me, I'm getting all romantic. You're sure has a unique sense of romance. But you're sure it will be good enough for Rain. You gain plus three charm for your good idea. Neat. Alright, random time. I go first this round. There you Woo! Go. It's the morning. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Um, what am I lacking? I'll do library. That day you spent some time on the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gain plus two money. You see so Damien beating the piss out of a goblin like he always does when he's depressed. You go over and ask him what's up. It's this whole heir to the throne of hell thing. It's really bumming me out. I hate being the, a prince of hell, and I'm gonna hate being a yeah, king poker of hell free. even more. Hmm. I mean, how am I supposed to rebel against authority when I am the authority? Rebel. Did I? I, I did say rebel, though. You said rebel. Rebel. Ugh. Not even Kiss him. beating the piss I'm breaking out on it, Bree. this goblin is cheering me up. Damien continues to beat the piss out of the goblin, but his heart clearly isn't in it. I mean... Is there anything rad I could do as the king of hell? Literally, anything? Uh, you're forgetting about the ultimate way to fight authority. Total war! Fucking metal! Oh yeah, war! I totally forgot about war! Probably because my dads are such lame asses, they keep going on about... What's the word? Diplomancy? Diplom monkey? Diplomacy? Am I saying that right? Diplomacy? Whatever. I'll have to... <coughs> I'll have it taken out of the dictionary when I'm king. Suck on that, Webster. Oh, 
on my heart, on my heart just jumped. I almost spilled my beer on my desk. <laughs> Damien's so excited. He even stopped strangling that goblin. It sends you a massage. You, it sends you a massage coupon as a thank you. You gain plus two smarts and plus one bullet. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Who's got the auditorium? That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves had descended to give you a figurative blowjob. <laughs> Here we go again with that. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school standards. It may be because we're the same character. I guess. You gain plus two creativity. Between class periods, you discovered a severed horse head in your locker. It has a note in its mouth telling you to meet Vera ASAP. Thank you. I'm so glad you come. I have another crime problem which would benefit from your insight. Thanks to your input, murder has cornered the market in app based assassination. Yes. The other crime lords don't take me seriously. Because I'm not a 40 year old man with scary scars or sexist morons think this is just a phase for me. Since when did having a killer body and flawless skin disqualify a girl from a life of crime? Disgusting. How can I show these chauvinist fools what crime really is? Come on, think of something. You're my most trusted advisor. What crime uh, they'll come crawling back uh, once you see how bad it is without you. Write a song about it. I'll help. Um, I don't think she would want to be singing all that, but she wants to like uh, continue on with the crime, it looks like. I don't know. You have to, I'm not really sure. Ugh, she might be shit. trying. To, I think she might be pulling the reverse psychology if you choose the top one, which sounds kind of smart. Mm. Oh, damn. damn it! You I know, knew it. If this advice was coming from anyone other than you, I'd ignore it. But I haven't been wrong yet. Fine. As of today, I'm quitting crime. I'll let the other bosses know. I'm sure they'll be so pleased. A few days later, you're getting a manicure with Vera when she suddenly gets a mobile notification and practically screams. Those punks! Do you know the ice pick and hungry Mark invited all the other crime lords to the beach for a barbecue? They're posting pictures on Momentogram. Oh, Momentgram. They're having su so much fun selling heroin and murdering each other without me. Ugh. I wish I was there. I could murder all of them so much better than they're murdering each other. Damn it. I, I should have went with the other one. And do you see how Joey the arsonist is cooking those burgers? They're not even close to rare. They're lost with them, and they don't even know it. I never should have listened to you. <laughs> Some advisor you are. Vera doesn't leave any more horse heads in your locker. You'd think that would be a good thing, but it's a symbolic loss of trust between you. You lose minus two fun and minus one charm. Damn it. Rip. All right, random time. You go first. Yes. A couple left. Noon, we have today and tomorrow. Um. Sure. Alright, where you going? Where you going? You arrive at Polly and Vera's table to find them eating. Wait, both of them? Huh, yum yum! I sure do love food and eating. Look at this food go in me. Hmm. Yes, this cafeteria sloppy joe truly has a subtle flavor profile. Finally, you notice the cause of this absurdity. A well-dressed businessman sitting at the next table watching both women intently. Oh yeah, do you I know you like this, baby. My eating real is realistic and erotic. Be cool, Polly. A man wants to pay us for eating in front of him. Not screen us up. Is it this not what eating is? I forget. While Vera tries to explain eating to Polly, the businessman sh shyly approaches you and gives you a small bow. Much ob oh, you should do it. It's a man. <laughs> Much obliged, friend. He says in a soft voice. Are these two fine ladies your friends? I must confess that I searched far and wide for a suitable candidate to fulfill my rather unusual fetish. Being a student at a high school for monsters to eat food while I watch politely from a distance. But I find unable to choose which of these two beauties to hire. Snake? The snake added. One princess is a certain grace. Yeah, pay me, motherfucker. Pay me to do a thing I was going to do anyway. 
But the translucent one has such passion. I don't even want the money. I just... This... Uh, oh, sorry. I don't even want the money. This is just fucking weird and I love it. In your opinion... The businessman finishes. Which would be the wiser choice on my part? Alright, who, 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 who do you think? What do you fucking think? The businessman strokes the chin and nods. Hmm, you have a point. He says. The girl's only has one mouth. Also, food seems to go right through her. The Gorgon, meanwhile, she <laughs> has uh, countless mouths. Such value. Value is right. A thousand in cash up front. You pay for all my meals, and you give me your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, he's doing it! He's doing it! He's getting naked! Vera is able to convince the businessman to pay for a fancy dinner for you and her. It's a little creepy with him watching the two, but you get over it. Let's go! Let's go, guys! Holy shit! No sooner have you sat down at Damien and Miranda's table than a haunting melody fills the air. It is a melody of cold northern peaks, the cloying sweetness of a supple bo bovine tea. A song of Cream wizard! He's here! He's here! I'm gonna eat so much ice cream and then puke on someone I don't like! Oh goodness! The ice cream wizard only comes but once per solstice! During the hour of the Ascendant Pancake! You see an old dude in a floppy blue hat pushing a refrigerated cart with this shit magic painted on the side! <laughs> Who's it? Who is doing it? Who's doing what? Who's doing what, Brief? I just love the this shit magic! <laughs> Ugh, so many great options to choose. Should I get a magna bar, brain destroyer, chocolate broomstick? What about fear of death, a frozen cobra? Hey, get away from that. <laughs> Reserve Carberry Blitz. The wizard's frozen treats invariably turn me into a frog for some reason. Perhaps I simply have not tried the right one yet. But which to try? I wonder someone would suggest a solution to what is truly the most difficult problem I've ever faced! Uh, beat him up and take all his ice cream. How boorish! Oh, the naked part? It was the businessman. Did someone say boorish? No, I said boorish, as in lacking social... I see. You did not mishear me after all, but we're simply looking for an excuse to beat up the ice cream wizard. Joke's on you, Miranda. I'm never going. <laughs> I'm never, never not, not looking for an excuse to beat up the ice cream wizard. Look at all this ice cream I got. This one lets you breathe underwater, and this one lets you. You brigand! You thief! I got some sugar blasted princelets. My reservations suddenly seem to have vanished! Good, cause I wanna try this popsicle. The stick is supposed to reveal how I'm gonna die. Huh. Who knew my death would involve so many bottlenose dolphins? To celebrate the ice cream heist, Damien takes you to the beach and doesn't even try to drown you. <laughs> Woo! Here we go again! It's me! Alright, this is it. The final day. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Um, you know, fuck it. I'll go to class for once. Actually, no, bathroom. Back oh, to you shit, skip class and just to. hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You get plus zero shits, but you gain plus two gold. It's later when you're minding your own business and definitely not doodling pictures of Damien. When you see Damien oh. making his way over to you, at which point you definitely do not need to hide your nose from crying. Yo, so here's the thing. You know how I think most people are pretty much 100% awful fuck doors. I actually think you're only 70% awful fuck doors tops. In fact, I, I actually think you're kind of rad. I've been meaning to get a new tattoo since nothing as rad 
intentionally sticking needles into yourself to create a permanent image on your skin for fucking ever. And I thought maybe we could get matching tattoos if you can come up with something rad for us. OMG, 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 it's your chance to once and for all convince Damien of how awesome you are. Don't fuck this up. It's time to suggest the baddest, raddest, maddest tattoo of all time, which is... A sea cucumber! Oh, fuck yeah! Oh. My. Fuck! That's the most <laughs> metal thing I've ever heard. I made a good choice with you. I've already got the rad tattoo, too. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something. Maybe the pentagrams that are pentagrams could be made of pentagrams that are pentagrams. Oh my god, it's like the yaoi thing over and over. It is. <laughs> and the fire can be sentient. Sentient. Uh, and sentient. And the uh, pentagrams can hate their deadbeat uncle. Get smoochies, Bree. Woo. And the guns end up on TV because they won't eat their vegetables. And maybe... The pentagram, pentagram, pentagrams are also ex-convicts. <laughs> I love this dude. <laughs> These will be the raddest tattoos ever! Let's go get them right now and have them on both of our bodies together forever. What? You're about to get badass magic tattoos with Damien! <laughs> This is the raddest, coolest, dopest, most lit thing to have ever happened, and now you'll be tied together for eternity. You get the sickest Meanwhile, tattoo of all time. Microscopic silico volcano go meostasal. <laughs> New mono ultra microscopic silico <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? I'm listening to my Nevermore is telling us something. Sand dust. Now you know something useless. Thank you, Never. Thank you, thank you, Nevermore. Now I know that new mono ultra microscopic silico volcanosis. <laughs> Vulc uh, volcaniosis is a lung disease caused by inhaling the very fine ash of sand and dust. <laughs> now I know. Anyway, um, your turn. Sure. Okay, I I wanted to go to the bathroom, but you had to fucking take it. Hey, I got now. Now I have the raddest, baddest, maddest, most sickest rad tattoo ever. Um, where are you going? I'm going to the gym. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. The match is so intense and both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes. By betting a part of your charm against the other- a part of the other team's charm. That commitment amazes your whole team and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, you win and take plus two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a bit less fabulous. Hey, Rain, remember that one time at that- one party where explain me in great detail your brilliance to the business world. Holy shit, you do not. And that doesn't sound like your idea er, area of expertise at all. You must have been pretty drunk. But it's Vera, so you smile and nod. Well, I'll be attending a very fancy and important business dinner event tonight full of powerful people by exclusive invitation. And by exclusive invitation, I mean I'm going to use my Gorgon powers to turn the concierge into stone in this. I'd love to see you put on other people put other people's money where your mouth is if you're not doing it tonight. You were planning on reorganizing your collection of very rare mint condition Pokemon cards. Pokemon! Uh, Pokemon cards! The popular trading card game based on the even more popular video game Pocket Human. Each card depicts a human being with a specific job and bio. But that can wait. So when the time rolls around for the fancy business dinner, you shove them in your pocket and roll out! Rain! Over here. Glad you can make it. I've been rank breaking in business cards hand over claw so far. I met Gertrude Gorgonzola, the Diamond Tampon Tycoon, and Ray K. Bebop, the social media influencer slash rapper slash robot, and they're both very excited to do business with you. How have you been done so far? You turn out your pockets and show Vera the evidence of your endeavor, which consists of the lobby card for the hotel the convention is in, and the only thing handed to you by a real business a sticky note with the word NO written in red sharpie. Maybe I should have invited someone else. Literally anyone else. No! 
It's okay, you still have an hour left of the event. It's time to pull out all the stops and choose an amazing tactic to get as many business cards as you can to prove Fira what a valuable business asset and or prom date you are. Let's see. You may have no business and therefore no business cards to exchange, but you sure as hell have Pokemon cards. Tra no. <gasps> you Let's said see. Pokemon. <laughs> Broken man. <laughs> um, convince the business people you have a rare disease that can only be cured if you're given a hundred. We're gonna try. Man. You're making or breaking it moment. I don't think this is. Because let's see. Not Damn sure. it! I knew it! You stand on a chair and deliver a passionate, impassioned, unpa unimpassive speech about the severity of your illness and your desperate need for business cards. It's incredibly effective. They all shuffle through their wallets for their business cards. You remember what Miranda once told you about rich people. They love staying ridiculously wealthy while using just enough of that wealth in ways that make them appear sympathetic. Thank you all so much for your generosity towards this poor, sickly, suffering, ugly soul. Um, thanks? I will be collecting the business cards on behalf of your tragic compulsive Lionolus. Compulsive Lionol Lionolus shouts a li oh, sorry. Compulsive Lionolus shouts Elizabeth person who is also a doctor. You can tell he's a doctor because he's wearing a lab coat and a stethoscope. I guess that's how he always dresses regardless of circumstances. Yes, I've run out the old business card cure. The 100 cards must be blended into a paste to be administered anally. The businessmen all mutter in agreement, eager oh, to trust fuck. the doctor's authority. He's also wearing spectacles, so he looks super legit. God damn it! I, I'll still be happy to be in charge of the collection. No, 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 says the business person. I'm a doctor. Everyone drop their business cards in this blender that I always carry with me just in case a medical emergency arises that necessitates making an anal paste. Beer tries to protest once more, but her convincing arguments are drowned out by the whirring of the blender. Your plan having failed, you slink away in disgrace before business cards can be shoved up your butt. <laughs> God damn After it. After all, you've already lost minus two smarts and minus one fun, and Vera's respect. Damn it! The monster prom draws near. The I'm asking Damien. Hey, noob. You obviously got yes. it. Yes! But you, Rain, what do you think? You gonna try it? I'm hey, pretty man. sure she's still gonna say no, but let's all see. Alright, here we go. Um, you're, sure. you're first, okay. Finally, pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. You're asking me to go to the prom with you? Have you seen yourself in a mirror? Your face is a crime against humanity. And not one of the crimes against humanity I enjoy perpetrating. Bye. Bye, Lisa. Damn it. It's okay. You moved on from this horrible and shameful failure. You became a functional person and eventually you met a sweet banshee called Ash. You shared lots of common interests, and after dating for some years, you married. One day, in the middle of a casual conversation, you mentioned how you couldn't get a date for Monster Prom. Despite your years of happiness, your marriage couldn't endure such a pathetic revelation, and so Ash abandoned you the next day. What over that? Yep. And thus, you live the rest of your life alone and sad. Never forget, Monster Prom is the most important thing. Oh, All right, hang no. on. I need to piss really bad. I can't. I can't take it anymore. Ow! Brain, entertain them. <laughs> I, I, like, really, this, <laughs> I'm surprised it managed to get to this point that I have to um, make sure that everyone stays. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I will um, definitely uh, keep on streaming. I won't be co continuing uh, streaming with this game. I'll, like, switch over to uh, another game, but definitely uh, something that <laughs> and I'll say I'll definitely uh, stream this again whenever I feel like it. <laughs> but... <laughs> But yeah, I'm surprised how like um, I'm surprised how this game is. To be honest, this game actually is indeed fun. <laughs> hey, who the fuck bonked me? I, I don't even know like when um, that bonk was. To be honest with you, but <laughs> yeah, this um this game I definitely uh, do enjoy. That's for sure. Um, I think that, like, um, the more people that are in this game, the, the more crazy it will be, but, but yeah, definitely something that I would definitely want to, uh, 
play again. <laughs> oh, sounds oh. like uh, Nikara's coming back. Sorry about that. So right. I was trying to hold out, but man, it was not. It was not happening. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom. With you. Prom with you? You dumb fuck! Rad. That's a fucking great idea. And you, some kind of genius or something? I'll tell you what you are. <laughs> My date to prom! Let's Fuck yeah! Prom night was crazy intense. At one point, a classmate of yours criticized how Damien is always getting in a fistfight. For which Damien punched him, started, starting at another fistfight. You joined in and fought with him back to back. Ow! Thank you, Arizi. <gasps> a smoochie for me? It was a super sexy choreographed fight, and you even exchanged trusting glances while watching over each other's backs. And that wasn't the only time that night you took care of Damien's rear. Poing. What the fuck? Nakara, most likely to devour her own children to survive, and Vera's quote, you're all the worst. No, this is not me being funny. It's not. Woo! So, did I technically win the first one? What do you mean? Because your name is posting on on uh, this game as the first one that showed I my name. Yes, you. I don't know. I guess you technically did. I don't know how. We both still lost because we didn't get our date. For the first game, yeah. The first game. Those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Vera built the Oberlin Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they're also into lots of sketchy business. <gasps> Arctic Boozy! What's up? But no one does anything about it. I mean, who the hell would try to stop Vera Oberlin? Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair, and he ended up in prison for art. Fortunately, the prison was flammable. Scott became an athlete. Not so long ago, he won a prestigious national award for being the best at doing sports. For those two weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called you. Once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. What if I told you that the world was gonna end, and you had 15 minutes to spend with me or your friends? I feel, over like, to I feel my like soon place. enough you're gonna be drawing yourself with uh, Damien. No. I'm not actually like, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. I don't draw much ship art. I. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Though. Yeah. This was definitely fun uh, playing this with you. I am gonna be yeah. switching to a different game. So. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I know I lied. I actually did want. <laughs> I don't actually like Damien. God, we gotta wait an extra day for Nika. I am, yeah, I'm so sorry, which reminds me, now that you said that, um, for those of you who weren't here earlier in stream, uh, I was a dingus, and I totally messed up my schedule. I forgot that I have to go to the doctor's tomorrow evening. Uh, long story short, it's very hard to leave my town, and I won't be able to get home, uh, after I get to the doctor's. So, uh, no stream tomorrow. We'll have to continue Valheim next week, but I will be back in time for Thursday stream. So we will still have Graveyard. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so just remember that. Also, before you leave, Rain, let me give you one last shout out so uh, people who haven't seen you before or don't know who your name is can head on over. <laughs> You're welcome. Yep. Thank you, Reezy. Funny that you have a. I am going to be switching over to Tide, <laughs> the Tasmanian Tiger. It's. Man, I haven't seen that one before. It's funny. Uh. How Team Sammy has a PS4, even though I downloaded his Superstar on, an, on the Xbox One. Alright, but I will let you yeah. over to the so. I'll catch you later, Rain. Uh, probably does. See you later. Bye bye. Later. Alright, and with Rain out of here, it is time to officially wrap up the night and send our love to somebody else. You miss it? Aw, oh, thank you, Nika, for the amazing- ah! Then you say, you're welcome- Oh, I see what you mean. You're welcome, Reezy! Or you and, and you're welcome, chat. Everybody, you're welcome for coming. 
Actually, I should be saying, what I should really be saying is thank you for attending. That's what really helps out. Y'all be in here watching my shenaniganery. It's great. It's fun. Ooh, okay. Um, I see somebody's playing Atomic Hearts, and I'm a little low-key interested. So I am going to be sending you guys over to Eyes of Aether for um, Atomic Hearts. And like I said, no stream tomorrow. We will still be doing Graveyard Keeper on Thursday. And I'm also debating about um, doing more streams a week, so I might be looking into adding Mondays as a stream day. I will get back to you on that. I still have to figure some stuff out about that. But thank you all so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye, everybody!